So where we last left, last, last left off in our group uh, it, with our group of intrepid adventurers, uh, because we're not going to do any fancy intros now. There, soda. Uh, so where we last left off, our group of intrepid adventurers had just returned back to the continent of Odela. Uh, you got Jill. What are you doing? <laughs> I've been fighting with them about this. I'm trying. Okay. They've ascended. I sat doing nothing for too long. I had to do something. Okay, that's fair. Uh, just, I didn't expect that when I pulled my cameras back up. I'm working just on it. Things. Um, yeah, just things. Give me time. I'll get them down. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, there, they learned about several goings on that had occurred in the meantime. Namely, they learned that their, uh, their home had been attacked, uh, seemingly, by uh, some of Malaris's men who left a large hole in the corner of the building. Uh, the damage was then swiftly repaired by one Haru, thankfully. Um, and the group then went off to do their own thing, uh, including having a little bit of drama between the two of them, as uh, Dea and Maddie um, are having a little bit of issues uh, defining themselves. Oops. But they all have something much more pressing going on right now. Rose's birthday came and passed, so they all want to have a nice little celebration for this. Uh, and we would normally have Rose uh, player in a visible spot, but right now you can only see them T-posing like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I might be T-posing too, you just can't see it. I'm too tall for you to see me T-posing. <laughs> Is this how you make yourself feel Michelle, move my camera sure. a little bit to the side. I'm not, I'm not, not lined up. Um, <laughs> I could be T-posing as well. <laughs> don't, no, we don't need, no, stop it. We don't need the, this. The we thing don't is, need T-posing in my game. Because it's only from this up, you can't see my, like, arms That's or true. shoulders. You can't see Jill or Cody's T-posing or Jace's. Or even Jolly's. All of them could be T-posing. If I want, I want to pose, I have Jolly, to Y-pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you do me a favor and please animate the Maddie token just raising their arms up and T-posing? I am not spending. That's fair. Hours I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where we had left last left off, you guys had just returned to Odella. So it's the morning of the tenth of summer. Uh, you guys, uh, I would assume, have had uh, a decent, uh, a decent relaxing day or so. Uh, do you guys have anything that you want to do? I know at least one of you had something uh, ready for Row, and uh, a few others have some plans. Yeah, I need to go see Janae and get mine made. Yes, you do, don't you? Yeah, you it, I just remember. I that. did. I need to get mine made as well, and uh, just to make sure, I'm gonna try to borrow Marigold to make sure the most important guest uh, is here for the party. <laughs> Far, it's a uh, it's a play date with with Toby. Ro would fully <laughs> believe that because she trusts you <laughs> that you wouldn't lie to her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a good point. It's Your a boy life. needs to be there. <laughs> it's you're, for exploiting, the good. you're exploiting Rose's endless kindness. <laughs> yeah, her Is endless. It? I'm sorry. <laughs> As we all know, Rose canonically the kindest person in the world. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the you fuck up. You can't even say that with a straight face. No. Anyway, lines of sin. To... God is judging you. <laughs> Hold on. Anna, look what you've I'd done! I'd like to see him try! <laughs> <laughs> I just got uh, down. But now, uh, I know at least a couple of... Do you, I'm okay. sure you don't need help. Do you want me to take your phone? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't need help. I know I didn't. Bickering on. like an old married couple. We've been friends for ten years. What do you expect from us? It's fine. I want to see you jump out of the cake. The... The delays and technical <laughs> issues have only amplified the goofiness. It's true. Oh, trust me, it's gonna get weirder the later we have to keep going. So, um, this is actually gonna be odd because we're yeah. going later than we've ever gone. So, Mercy, you begin heading over to Asagio's Oddities. Uh, as you need to go have a conversation with him and uh, 
request something for your- I actually need to pick up a couple things so that way he can do the thing I'm requesting. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think he has these in his store. I could be wrong, but if he does, I have questions. Okay, really that's fair. Uh, so Mercy will come in with these under her arm, wrapped up in a cloth. Okay. Uh, Danae will kind of like come, like step out from the back room. Uh, yes, yes, how can I help you today? Hi friend, um, I have a really weird one for you. Um, and she's gonna set the bundle down. So I need you to take what's in here and make it capable of being smaller on command and come back on command. Um, and Mercy's gonna like pull out a piece of paper where she is very shittily sketched out what this looks like. Because <laughs> she's not an artist, but she needs a visual representation to explain it. So it looks like this and sets it down in front of him. Uh, uh, let me see. Hmm. I believe I can do that. Yes, that, that would be fairly straightforward. These are all the appropriate size ones I need to be the final thing because, you know, we're working with someone <laughs> who's a little bit shorter. Yeah. That's, uh, that's totally fine. We can, I, I could get that done. Cool. I, I would say I could, I could do it for about uh, 50 gold in a few days. That's fine. I don't know when the party is, but if it's probably going to be in a few days, it'll be fine. I got other stuff I gotta get done before then, anyways. Thank you, Mr. Denae. Not a problem. As per usual, you are exceedingly helpful. Not a problem at all. And she's gonna walk out and head back to the house. Well, you actually, do so. considering what the job is, she will probably be heading back to go work more on what's going on in Pacoitia. Yes. Um, anybody else want to go next? Shell? I guess I'll go. Okay. Um, I'm going to a bookstore. In the deep house. <laughs> uh, when I get to said bookstore, she's just gonna be like, "This would be a really weird request." Oh you know? no, you you probably can't be the weirdest request I've had. Don't <sighs> worry. So to have a book of the I guess chemical makeup of objects what <laughs> told you it would be an odd so I need something for a friend and she specializes in changing object changing materials so she can change a liquid to a solid or a liquid to a gas this isn't the magic shop we don't have like transmutation books i'll go look i guess in a magic shop and then she'll go okay. to essential shop <laughs> uh you head over to asagio's uh we're of course asagio is present and uh just dealt with Mercy. To see Mercy on the way out. Yeah. Like, like, Hi. Bye. Bye. Oh, as like she sees, she's just like, I do need to talk with everybody at some point. Not now, but just some point. Okay. Um. Masagio. Hi. Yes. Hello. It's very nice to see you. Is there something I can assist you with? book about transmutation but not <sighs> I'm trying okay Ro it's for Ro's birthday she has the ability to change he has the ability to transmute essentially and I want her to like she's very creative with it and I feel like with more information she can be even more creative because she comes up with these ideas and like I just want to provide her with information on certain materials and what they're made of so she can change things if that makes sense uh, well, well um 
th there's books on tran on transmutation magic, uh, but that is I I I don't. It's more about like what material things are made of, like what like wood is made of, or. I don't think anybody's made a book like that yet. Hmm. I believe I. Uh, we, we don't even have a microscope yet. There's no electron microscope. It doesn't work like that. I look. I'm trying to figure out something for Moreau. It's very hard to shop for. She's very smart. I know she doesn't think she is, but she is extremely smart. And I want to help her. I want to give her... You could ability. get them an encyclopedia. Maybe. I don't know if she'd like that. Well, a transmutation book would be helpful, but it wouldn't really be so good if they could cast magic. Mm, yeah. I just, I don't know what to get, though. Well, I'm not entirely sure what to get her either, to be honest with you. Uh, you could look into, uh, you could speak to Harvey about, uh, Alchemy re reagents and the like. Oh, that might actually be good. Yeah, that would help. Out of curiosity, you wouldn't happen to have... There's a spell I've been looking into, and I don't even know if I want it because it's, it's very complicated and costs a lot of money to use every time you use it, but you wouldn't happen to have a simulacrum spell, would you? What the fuck are you looking for that spell for? What? It help for, for, for help? For help? Is yes. that the excuse you're using for simulacrum? Listen. Really? Listen. That's, that's, that is the excuse you've gone with. <laughs> it might... They can do research for me when I'm not there. I simulacrum even... is not a, a research-assisted spell. A simulacrum is a, a... People use that for uh, making... Uh, like, no, I don't have that spell. Why would you think I, I have that spell? I don't know! I have looked into it. I don't even think I want it. I've just looked into it. Look, I, I've, I'm kind of a mess lately. There's a lot of things happening, and I don't know how to help. Ooh. Why am I crying? It's weird. Like it's a lot happening, and look, I, for your gift, I would certainly speak with Harvey about that. But I do not have the simulacrum spell. And to be completely honest with you, I think the people who would have a simulacrum spell would not be people to speak with in polite company. Mm. I don't know. Because while you're right, you theoretically could use it for research. I wouldn't use it for bad things. Not everybody else thinks like you, Rudy. You need to understand that. And all, for some reason, I am crying, and I don't know why. Like, mm. Michelle is crying, and I don't know why. Ugh. I think I'm just frustrated. Well, that's fair, I suppose. Still, Harvey could assist you with uh, alchemical books and reagents. You're looking for those. Okay. Thank you, Asajiu. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. But yeah, Simulacrum is one of those spells where people are going to ask why you had that spell. It's like, oh, it's same thing with same thing with Clone. If you yeah. ever have Clone, people I'm... are immediately going to look at you and go, why do you have that? That's absolutely fair. Because <laughs> it's, it's a spell that's like, you, Rudy what is are you doing? What, Rudy is just what we call desperate. No, I get uh, it. Uh, I, I don't get know. Yeah. So... Uh, we are we are approaching very uh very strenuous times. So yeah. anyway, uh yeah, she'll go to Harvey after she's calmed down a minute. Yeah, <laughs> see there. Hi, Harvey. Oops, I just popped my earbud. Um, I'm looking for alchemist books. Why? Okay. So, uh, books on alchemy and stuff like that? Yeah. 
I've got some rolling around. Uh, I believe one of the newest editions that recently uh, put out, it's about uh, 100, 150 gold, something like that. Oh, that's fine. I can definitely handle that. That's that's fine. What's it for? Uh, it's for Ro, actually. It's for her birthday. She Have you considered to... drugs? No, I'm not going to give her drugs. <laughs> Hell, might. Okay. I am not. Well, uh, if that's the case, then uh, yes, uh, I, I could sell it to you. I'm, I'm sure I could find a replacement at some point. Also, do you have any more of the true seeing stuff? Oh, oh, the 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 the, the uh, mushroom oils. Yes, I've, I've got a few. Can I have like a hundred gold worth? Let me double check how much it costs for it. <laughs> it's twenty five each use. It's twenty five each. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've only got about about fifty. Those stuff, that stuff is a bit tougher to get a hold of. But yes, oh, I've, I've fine. got. I'll take both then. So okay, he'll, just... he'll give you the the fifty gold. I'll just it. take out two hundred gold for my stuff. Okay. All right. Uh. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy uh Rogo. I again, Gale might. I'm not. Uh, Rudy won't. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'm done. Okay. Um, Jolly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have anything oh, you want to do? Uh, I was gonna do my daily, you know, uh, divine intervention thing if that was possible. Um, I didn't know. Uh, okay. I I was you, I was like, huh? <laughs> what are you aiming for? You know, I'm not entirely sure. I just don't know if it's gonna roll this time. <laughs> so. <laughs> Who would be the person that you would speak to? Be like, hey, what the fuck should I use this for? Who, which character would you talk to in this, in this situation? I don't know. <laughs> Gale, uh, Ro, would you talk to Ro about I... this? Hmm. That's a lot of stress on Ro. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, I know Gale would be the idea deal choice but then i wouldn't i wouldn't oppose to asking ro because her birthday as well so um well i'll, I'll ask gail first you and then you? i can ask uh, okay I'll, I'll ask gail first um uh so gail um mm. so uh you know that weird thing with the um, the the source and stuff um i've been trying to uh resurrect marts and um oh. you know i'm i'm not entirely sure if it's possible for it to work i've been doing it for a couple of days and still not uh working um is there any other uh thing you would want aside from resurrecting marks well kind of depends on how you think about it yeah yeah that's that's true uh I'm not sure. I mean, do we do we really want to resurrect Marks right now, or is there any more pressing matters at hand? I don't know if there are any specific other matters that are that are necessarily pressing at the moment. Mm. But if we're bringing him back. That's interesting to think about. Mm-hmm. Well, it could be something. Instead of just asking to bring him back, you could bring all of the gods back at the same time. Would he even agree to that? Who? Marx? Like, would he bring the oh, other no, gods Oh, no, I say <laughs> as part of whatever it is he can do, just bring them all back at once. Send the whole thing coming, crashing all at once. It just okay. starts to really shake things up. But <laughs> uh, I don't know how well that would do for everything else. Well, I mean, oh. I'm not entirely sure if it'll work today. Um, I haven't done it yet, so. Bet. I... <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm just Maybe asking for options. You I, know. I, I actually might have a better idea. 
What if... What if maybe... Someone that it was that we're looking to fight and take care of... What if they lost something important? Hmm... You're talking about... Um... I don't know who you're referring to, so elaborate a little bit, Gail. Um, like... So... My dad all of a sudden can use his magic. What if somebody like Malaris or Lacroix all of a sudden can use theirs? Hmm. You're right. I I'm not entirely sure um, how this works yet, but okay. maybe you um, just skit in the right way. <laughs> maybe. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ask other people before, you know, maybe if, like, if it does work, you know, if it doesn't, I, I just want to get options right, to, right. you know, do something but, about this before, if I resurrect Marx, which is probably the only thing I had in mind. <laughs> um, well, if it helps you any, I think that's a good idea. I just, I don't know. I don't know if bringing him back right now is a good thing or a bad thing because we already have so many of there are so many of these people who've abused this power from from gods you know mm -hmm. uh Qua has his whatever the fuck that is that you know king dude I something about saying his name I, I don't like saying his name so much um but then you have Malaris is using power of demons and fiends and then you have others that have been stealing power from powerful beings my only mm. worry with bringing in another powerful being is he wasn't bad but if somebody would make a deal with him he'd go along with it because that's his thing I don't want one of them finding him I don't want one of them finding Marks and making a deal with him and getting something that we're going to either have to deal with or make a deal with him fair does that make sense? Right, yes. So, not right now. We Aye. won't resurrect him. Okay. Aye. Once, once we get... Once we take care of this entire mess, I say, do it. Let's get him back and play and figure out what we need to do for the gods. But until then, like I said, we have a very heavy task in front of us I, right I don't want to make this any harder and put any ourselves or any of our friends at any more risk mm -hmm. yeah um thank you Gail I I needed that because no problem I, I, I'm not sure what to do with it to be honest so it's a lot um so I'll, I have I'll probably... another idea uh, okay. <laughs> What's Ask the other for something idea? small. That uh, you I. What I want. <laughs> I. I don't necessarily know what I want. <laughs> a big Marty. Marty. What? Marty. You can <laughs> ask two for... bagels. <laughs> <laughs> you have the power yeah. to ask for anything that you want, right? Uh, I mean. I could, but it doesn't always work. Uh, okay. so. Well, here's the thing. Every day, <laughs> I wake up, and I really, really want a pie like my mum used to make. Oh. <laughs> like a shepherd's pie. Oh, okay. <laughs> she put some stuff in it, and I never was able to learn what it was that she put in it. Oh. And I want one of those every single day right <laughs> right well, right 
I don't have the ability to ask for anything like that. Sometimes that little thing will make all the difference. So you don't need to make it a big deal. It's not like, oh, well, I have to ask for, I have to ask for the moon itself, or I have to be able to glow as bright as the stars, or be able to destroy all of my enemies. Sometimes it's just something small. A gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Well. So, don't feel <laughs> yeah. pressured. Uh, okay. <laughs> it it still feels a lot of pressure because considering of what it can do, but um. Then do something that big. Uh. <laughs> but yeah. if you're you don't feel like asking for something like that, then don't. You're right, but also, time is of the essence, and, you know, I don't want to waste that opportunity to use it. Um, so, I don't know, I could, I'll ask the others if they have any other ideas. Um, Alright. But yeah, thank you, Gil. Well, no problem. <laughs> Always here to help. Always here to help. And take naps. Always here to take naps, too. Uh, you're gonna take a nap now. <laughs> I might. Uh, going on lately. I mean, do you know what you're gonna get for Rose's birthday? No. <laughs> I'm going to the shop later. Oh, uh, okay. And I'm just gonna okay. walk in there and pick something. Oh, okay. That's that's good. I probably uh, need help cooking later. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna ask you, but <laughs> no, that I can do. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. I'll go as um, Ro, um, or if Mercy is around, um, about the thing. So, uh, have fun with your nap. <laughs> oh, I will. I'm gonna check out the sheep on my way into town. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so not sure what. Oh, yeah, so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, are you gonna try to find Roe or Mercy? <laughs> well, I mean, who's in the who's in the estate right now? I mean, Roe would be still there. I Mercy I'm not surprised. Be back until okay. Yeah, Mercy won't be back back yet. So Roe. Okay. So I mean, anyone that's like not in the estate, I guess I could wait for like maybe a group discussion. But yeah, I'll ask Roe um, something. <laughs> um, so Roe. Do you want anything particular for your birthday, like for food-wise, or...? Oh, you guys remember that, huh? Yeah! <laughs> oh, so good. I'm... S great. Um... <laughs> food with any food. You make good food. <laughs> Rope? <Real? laughs> it's just, it's not my birthday, it's just a party. We're just having a party. It's just a plain party. <laughs> party that we're having uh, uh okay um do you want anything in particular or is that um okay this is the only time i'm gonna indulge myself on this one <laughs> that isn't it's not chocolate it tastes like chocolate but it's red <laughs> but it's red it it's got like the cream cheese Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I was, you... I was like, oh. Yeah. All right, I get it now. <laughs> I, I get. It. Um, I don't think Bro knows what a red velvet cake is. <laughs> okay, I'm happy I got that right because you said it. My brain went, huh? What? What are those crimson Saturn cakes? <laughs> no, technically, red velvet is chocolate. So, um, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So, um. You're talking about that flavor. Um, yeah, no, that, I can do that. Um, do you, is that the only thing you want? <laughs> I mean, listen, I most of the stuff you cook, I've never heard of. I, you know, we really, I don't really have like a great palate. Um, you use a lot more spices than like my mom ever did. So anything's good. <laughs> You ever had just like mom cooked like a white person? 
you know, it's like with like a little salt on it. And cabbage. No cabbage. No cabbage. <laughs> that has flavor. Boiled chicken? Just boiled chicken. There's a reason we had staff. Um. <laughs> yeah, pretty much anything that you make with spice in it is great. I love it. Oh, okay. So you want uh, spicy food, oh, right? Was... Mm, maybe not <laughs> spicy, like not like the hot spicy, but like okay. spicy with lots of spices. Oh, oh Rose, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, Rose mom thinks ketchup is spicy. <laughs> Absolutely, her mother thinks ketchup is spicy. Why am I not on the right thing? Technically, ketchup does have spicy. Oh, spice just to it, yes, but it overwhelmed. Is not spicy. <laughs> it's just overwhelmed by all of the sugar added in. Yeah, it's like, isn't it supposed to have like vinegar in it? It bit. is vinegar. Yeah. 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 Any any food with flavors. Good. It's tomato vinegar. That's basically what it is. Fla flavored food. <laughs> flavored food. Food that's not water flavored would be nice. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I. <laughs> Water flavor. I, I will just cook. That's okay. Food that's not spicy. And yes, I'll I'll make the the red velvet, uh, cake for you for your birthday. I mean party. So <laughs> the, the party that we're having. That just right. Happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. Before she like leaves um Rose's room, she's gonna like quickly ask um. Oh yeah. Uh. So Ro um. If you had. A wish, what would it be? Oh, well, I mean, I already kind of had one and got it, and I'm not gonna <laughs> live forever. But, I mean, like, right now, uh, I don't know, probably something like, ah, I wish that LaCroix's, like, arms would fall off or something. I don't know. Or, like, his head would explode. It's something that would make our lives a little easier, you know? You want LaCroix to. to die is that basically what i'm hearing yeah you're saying that like not, like we don't all think that am i alone in that is that something i should not be saying out loud <laughs> no it's just i mean we all think of the same thing it's just that was a weird way i just you know <laughs> something off our plate you know we, we, if we die <laughs> right now we'd be like ah you dead better go pick up the artifact and then we can mm. go and and Mercy's dad. It would just take, you know, a detour off the roadmap here. Right, okay. Oh, sorry. Um, well, um, I'll think on that. Um, what, on was what to do. Was that hypothetical? Was that, what was that? Uh, <laughs> the weird hypothetical? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that question. <laughs> Ro. <laughs> you have a secret... Find a secret wish. What did you find? What do you have? You know, I'm not entirely sure what it is, Ro, but it's something. <laughs> okay, well, if you figure out the source of that something, I'd love to have a few wishes in my back pocket. I. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> uh, well. All right. Well, it, I get, you know, if you ever need any more wish uh, suggestions, I've got a whole buttload. So. <laughs> all right, Ro. Uh. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing else, but until, like, I wait for, like, others to come back from, um, shopping or what have you, <laughs> but I'll- I'll ask the others later. Gotcha. Okay. So, who wants to go next? Jace, do you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Bye. So, Gail is going to go into town mm -hmm. after saying hello to the sheep. Um, you know, very, very, very important things. Um, then Gail's just going to go into uh, just a bunch of the shops and try and find something really just kind of whatever mm -hmm. whatever kind of speaks to him i actually have two ideas that i'm going to send you i was rolling random random magical items gotcha okay all right oh there's that one and let me find the other one
Sorry, I had to find where the other one was. I, I moved off the page. And it ran from me. Yeah. So I will say the first one would definitely be something that uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Asagio would have something like that in his store. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's like, that, that'd be priced out like 100, 100 gold, something like that. Okay. Scale could do that. And then that's the other one. The best part of this is Connor's face journey. <laughs> Watch him mouth, what the fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, he would definitely have that. Yeah. <laughs> Just in, like, a collection of things that he, he found. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that'd be priced at only about 50 gold because he, yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. All right, okay. go get those two things. I'm so glad he can because now I really want to know. <laughs> All right. Glad Jace was here for this. <laughs> I have no idea yep. because it's from magic item tables, but I have a guess of like the type of item that it is. Man, you you won't be able to guess it. Uh, Cody, <laughs> anything you got to do, bud? Um, I already did his stuff the previous day. Fair enough. Uh, DR? Um, bef before we get into mine, off screen, can we, like, settle on a date that the party is? Uh, just real quick. Because I know we need a couple days for items to be made, so maybe, yeah. like, mm -hmm. the, with, like, the 13th or the 14th? Yeah, I was thinking, like, 13th, 14th row? Bro, Ro, what would you? What does Ro? What? Well, Ro doesn't want it. <laughs> what day do you want your party, Ro? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's do. Let's do I'll the fourteenth. Yeah, that if, could, if that that's, could same way. Babe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Too. Is that work? Is that a good idea for everyone? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. It gets Jace? us a few days to. Prepare. Jace, is that good? We can't see you, so you have to be verbal about it. Yeah, it works for me. Okay. okay. Um, thumbs up to the, to <laughs> thumbs up. We can't see. We can't see <laughs> that here. Okay. Um. In that case, I have, um. Can I can I propose something? Yes. If we sure. ever need to do a thumbs up, right now in this session, I suggest that Jace fully sprint up the stairs. <laughs> 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 it it's, it's gonna be like Jesus. Well, the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> God, our neighbors are gonna hate us. <laughs> with me, with me screaming on Wednesdays, us staying up late, Jace running up the stairs. Man, the, the neighbors are gonna fun. have thoughts about us. It's six o'clock where you guys are, you're fine. <laughs> Don't matter. It's six o'clock there. Like, it's not it's even fine. that. It's fine. Yeah. Thank you, um, Jace. Uh, if you're back and can hear that, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you for that. That was great. That was amazing. You're welcome. Oh boy. Okay. Well, um, I guess then first she's gonna go into town to talk to Agdemajan probably first. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, get that rolling, and then when she comes back, she's gonna borrow Marigold. Uh. <laughs> to okay. Call, you know, to call a dragon. A dragon. Okay. Like, no control so, uh, you head over to Asajj's oddities and find that uh, Agnamajan is not in the primary store right now. Uh, he's actually out back, um, assisting a few people who uh, look <gasps> to be basically laborers, uh, who are helping him. Uh, what what it looks like, dig a basement. <laughs> uh, as it looks like he's basically like digging a cellar that's kind of off to the side in the back. Because it looks like he's just making another little bunker 
and you see that nearby there's like some guy who like looks like he owns like a regular like a regular store like a regular house that and he's just kind of sitting there like what the fuck is going on here because like he he moved in and then this mage moved in and then the alchemist and now someone's digging up the lawn and making a basement for a bunch of stuff apparently so he's just kind of sitting here watching this happen as Agdamajan is kind of there helping out uh, set up the floor plan for this place. How you been? People have an HOA. <laughs> There's no HOA here. No. There will um, never be an HOA here. Yes. Um, I was hoping you could help me make a gift. I say help me like I'm going to do any of the uh-huh. work. Uh, <laughs> if we make a gift for Ro. The half- oh, the uh, yeah. the halfling lady with yeah. the uh, with my hammer. Has she uh, has she used it? Does she like the uh, the uh, the hammer? She hasn't used it yet. Oh, that's fair. I that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. So she, as you may have noticed, uh, she uses a gun. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And uh, guns are very loud. Yeah. Um. So, um. I figured of every and of of everyone in Hussein, you would probably know how to make, you know, gun parts and bullets and stuff. Um, so, I, I guess it's not really a surprise. I can just, um, you might already know it. <laughs> All right, so I'll I keep don't a little think, bit of mystery. I don't think I can do. Well, no, I take that back. So I think I could possibly do what you're asking for. But um, the big problem is that to do that, uh, it's not going to last forever. Okay? You're only going to have so many uses of it until it's just not working. Oh, it only needs to work once. You just need a bunch of them. I could do that too. I was thinking of something else. What were you thinking of? Uh, Don't worry about it. I'll surprise you. Okay. There will be two surprises. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I guess get me a price and I'll come back in a few days. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, uh, hold on. As kind of supposed to be, uh, the, you can the, take some time the, to think all about the money. It. <laughs> I don't know. Gosh. If you're uh, looking for the silence spell, it's the second level. Thanks. I uh, forgot the, forgot what level that was. Uh, thanks. Yes. Thanks a lot. No material components. Yeah. Uh, so I think I can make it for about 150 gold. Perfect. That sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah it should be easy. Uh, they'll get probably about five uses out of the thing I'm thinking of. That's about it. Okay, could you also make, like, ammunition? Yeah, I could do that, too. Okay. That's, yeah, you uh, can do both, but... Let's... I, could do a, I could do a batch of ten of those for, uh... uh and for the gold, to be honest. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Um, if it's not too much trouble, let's do two two batches of that okay so like 20 bullets All and right. then the thing you're thinking of so uh-huh. that would be like 450 yeah that sounds about right okay because she fires a lot uh it very fits very quickly so <laughs> i don't want her to run out of uses before we have use for it no don't worry all right so i'm going to uh get to work on that and um i'm gonna get back to digging this hole uh, so uh, I'll yeah, get this with you, and we'll that. go from there. What? Have fun digging that hole. Oh, don't worry. It's always fun. <laughs> okay. Have a nice one. You, you too. Bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, that'll be done in a, in a, before the party. And now you're going to need to try to borrow Marigold. Don't worry. Okay. Um, Day is going to find Ro. And she's gonna be like, hey, uh, Ro, can I borrow Marigold for just a little bit? Because I think I'd want to, like, um, 
you know, have a little play date with, with Toby and let them have some little little dragon rowdy fun. Do they get along? Does, is Toby too rough? Marigold is delicate. I don't... Don't, don't worry, I'll be I'll be watching them so Toby Toby's Toby's a good boy. Yeah, Toby's got a lot more limbs than Marigold does. I'm just scared <laughs> that the limbs will outweigh you know, it's you know, if you wanna go you can and Marigold just there. I guess <laughs> So Marigold as a familiar is a very different beast from <laughs> from from Toby, which is an actual animal. So Marigold just kinda goes Uh, Marigold needs your needs you to tell it to go you, to do it. I will give you express written permission. If you want to go, you can go. You should go. Have fun and play with the other. Be, go, be a, go be a little guy. Go. Have fun. <laughs> and Marigold kind of flies over to the day and just kind of like doesn't like lay around. Just kind of like keeps like flying around your head. Okay, so Dad takes him back to her room, and um, really hopes this works. Might not. It might only work for her. Okay. <laughs> but she's gonna go to Marigold and be like, "All right, Marigold, here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> I want to contact um, Demos, <laughs> please. Uh, this is for Ro, though. This is for the benefit of Ro. I just want it to be a surprise for her. <laughs> so." Listen, because it's it's her birthday, you know. We're celebrating her birthday. Marigold, listen to me. <laughs> Look at me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to get Demos on the line <laughs> so that he knows to come up here, please. <laughs> and she like gives Marigold a couple of pokes. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> So Marigold kind of blinks a couple of times and you hear a voice coming from Marigold that goes, Hello. Hi, Demos. This is Rose's friend. <laughs> this is... How... <laughs> Marigold's this... a Marigold. How'd you get the pseudo-dragon? Exactly. It's... What, my pseudo-dragon or the little Marigold? Uh, no, this... the. Alright. What? Who is no. this? I told you, it's Dea. Okay. <laughs> I found you at the, you know, you. Oh, yeah. yes. Give me the, yes. Um, I'm calling you separately. Nothing's bad, but we are celebrating Rose's birthday. And given that, you know, I guess you guys are friends, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it would be a great surprise for her to, for you to show up. It's happening on the 14th. Um, I know it's a little bit tight. Uh, you know, we're adventurers. It doesn't. We don't get a lot of home time all the time. Um, but I know you can, like, teleport and stuff. <laughs> hmm. I can certainly look into doing that. Uh, when's this going to be? Uh, the, the 14th. Um, probably a dinner time sort of deal. I guess I didn't get the timing down, but usually these things are, like, evening events. In my okay. experience. All right, that's fine. All the best food comes out of dinner anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll be there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Not a problem. And, and <laughs> so, like, Pat Mary goes, like, okay, you can, you can hang up now. <laughs> she squishes my <laughs> Simple of closing. <laughs> Um, and then, I've, yeah. I've decided that Marigold sticks his tongue out like Hermit. <laughs> um, yeah. And then she'll let the dragons play for like an hour if they want to play and then return it to Ro. Uh, <laughs> you will know, <laughs> Marigold's an, uh, a very different animal from Toby and like it takes a little bit of like getting like getting thumped around a couple of times with Toby for it to understand, oh, we're playing. And then eventually Miracle does kind of cooperate and start to play around as well. <laughs> Toby needs enrichment. <laughs> uh, and you find about very simply the, the enrichment for Marigold is 
completely outmaneuvering Toby. And the, the enrichment for Toby is trying to hit Marigold. It works out beautifully. Like, you, you could tell that Marigold is significantly more dexterous than Toby is, and that's impressive, because Toby's still fairly dexterous. Strength versus dex, Kana. Yeah, basically. Uh, and then you return Marigold back to Rick. And that's all my stuff. Okay. Anybody else? <laughs> no. So do you guys want to go day by day until the 14th? Or do you want to head straight over to Rose Party? Or Oh, wait, no, Jolly. It's yeah, I was gonna say. I <laughs> you needed, you needed to talk, talk to folks, didn't you? Yeah, I needed to talk about the, important things. the yeah. divine intervention thing. I didn't actually discuss that with the group yet. No. So, yeah, so Jolly, you you eventually do have a moment. We'll say around dinner time, because okay. that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Um, uh, dinner time to to actually have a conversation with everybody and like find out what the the thoughts are on this matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, while I uh, roll up what you. Uh, cooked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, wait, do I have to roll the cooking? Or... No, I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. I mean, you can roll me a D100 if you want. Uh, okay, I let's see. Um, don't know if that. Oh, nine. <laughs> Why wasn't that the design intervention roll? <laughs> Yeah, well. it's true. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. It keeps happening when you're not damn actually it. rolling. It. That's okay. I'm, I'm it's, so sorry. It can still happen. Go. So, it can. Uh, you, sir, you're serving what is essentially a form of a hero. Uh, it's a uh, lamb. Mm -hmm. Sadly. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, but it's a slow-cooked lamb that was put on a spit. Um, the meat was stacked gyro-style and then shaved away. Um, so you guys have some very soft, very tasty uh, gyros, essentially, to eat today. Right. Uh, you see, you're Sorry. coming to the kitchen. Like, <laughs> well, I like, mean, when you say when you say that, I'm just going to come to the kitchen, like, not teary. I'm like, um, <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm Sorry. <laughs> That was the most depressing thing I've ever done today, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to come up ever again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, sorry. I, I, I can't. Emotional to me. I'm not emotional. That's just bad with the lamp. <laughs> no, I know. I'm saying characters are In characters. Yeah. In characters. Um, <laughs> I cried once. So I I brought you guys here today because of the um the source um thing that was provided to me I um it's this weird thing I could do each day um that if it works um something can happen uh so I know when talking to Gail and Ro about the situation um. Well, one idea was bringing up Marts back. Um, the other would be dealing with Malaris or Lacroix. So I wanted to ask if you guys are, you know, okay with any of the ideas given. Raise your hand. Yes, Rudy. <laughs> it's actually. My suggestion connects to what I wanted to say to you guys. My suggestion is maybe we get insight here so that we don't have to go to the mute. Because I feel like I've pressured all of you into going. I just got so in my head sometimes I get like that where I get so excited I don't think about what other people want. And I realize I've set you up to commit a war crime and I don't know if you necessarily want to do that and if you don't I understand and if we get insight here we don't have to if that is the case I might amend it where 
we could have insight sent to the island to be right just with well, all of them. Just, I just. That's just my suggestion because I don't. I. <clears throat> I get in my head about things a lot of the time, and I don't want to pressure you guys to do something you don't want to do. And I recognize that's a big ask of all of you, so if you, if, even if it doesn't work and you decide you don't want to do it, I understand. I've been thinking about it the last few days. Uh, I've been thinking about it, going it over in my head while I've been with Alice. Anybody else have been put? Yeah, that would certainly make it a whole lot easier on us, and if we bring it here, we can make sure it worked and also get the deal with the others that we may be fulfilling our end. Mm -hmm. Um... Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm... I don't have any new ideas. It's so open-ended. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. I don't... Like I said, it doesn't guarantee to work um, all the time. So, um, if it happens, well, that's that's one thing that's, you know, marked off the list. Um, I will I was say, if, if Mercy is quiet, Rudy is looking at Mercy because Rudy does know she would know, so she isn't gonna say anything because you're being quiet and she's not gonna say it herself, but she knows. She'll talk to you for that. <laughs> I think that we should wish for LaCroix's head to pop off. That's not bad at all. There's a that's, lot of problems that's... on our list that I would solve. Just I mean, that was actually close to what I said. Maybe all of a sudden he should be able to use his magic. Gail, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if that would work. Remember on the island I asked about how the powers of these artifacts equated to those of the gods. If he and the artifact he holds are being in a way heightened by that of an extra planar entity, then it might be where a deity or wherever Maddie's power comes from is not strong enough to overwrite that. Ro puts her hand up at the table. <laughs> yes, Ro. <laughs> sure. I think that we should wish that the the artifact that LaCroix has is back home. Or in or in like a like a steel cage somewhere. Or like a like a lead box. Can you remind me which artifact is called? Uh, that is, it is it is the artifact Lair. of fear. Oh, okay, yeah, the amulet one. Um, yeah. Okay, so from what I'm gathering, that means uh, teleporting the artifacts back to the island. Um, if that's the case, um, I could pos if it's possible, I could think of all the artifacts being teleported to that island. It's also very good, Maddie. <laughs> If that's possible, um, that is one suggestion. Other than you know, going bit by bit. <laughs> but um, keep in mind that mm -hmm. Rudy's also got one. If you ask for all of them to go yeah, back, that's Rudy's true. is going back too. <sighs> and also, insight needs to die. I will point that out. He needs to die for the cycle to start over. How so many even parts if you take... can? How many parts can there be to this wish? I wish that all the artifacts are back and also the inside died. That's that Gale has a sandwich. Gale can make you a sandwich. God here. says no. I think those are in fact two different God, things. Uh, uh, the, the voice of God will say, um, basically divine intervention is you can ask one thing. If it's just a straight up no, you'll, first off, you'll have to push hard for that to happen. Second, I will just say, and then you can try again. Right. Like you can just you can just try something else. Um, 
As for <laughs> <laughs> and wishes, Jill, no. <laughs> it's going to default to the first one you asked for. There's a reason I don't fuck with gods. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, then we don't have to deal with Fermune. And that would also save us time. We would be fulfilling our part of the deal. Unfortunately, that would leave Fermune the way it is, but... Hmm. It's something maybe weird. It's too big for us, even. We already well, had a lot on our plate. Exactly. Yeah. Well, um, if that's all the suggestions, um, I will try to uh, do what I can with the source. Um, hopefully, well, if it if it happens, you know, what have you. Um, if it doesn't, well, I'll I'll do it again. Um, if <laughs> Maddie's gonna get a one when she rolls it now. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> that, that'd be really, the best. That'd be really great. Teleport ready, just in case. There is another possible way of dealing with insight. What's because we don't know if the wish is capable of moving p people forcibly against their will. But if the wish was for a teleportation circle to be there and clear of obstructions or magic, so that we could simply enter the room, deal with them, and then go out, that does not involve any other beings' powers or someone having to do something against their will. I will point out um, the wish spell, which I think is less powerful than a being of celestial brought Ma Maddie's mom. You weren't here for that. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't here for that. That's true. And Rudy's just going off of like... Yeah, I, I will say like... it. That like that's a that's a fair question. I, I like divine intervention. This is just me to to try and like expedite the what if process. Uh, mm -hmm. Divine intervention can do quite a bit. Just ask it. I'll tell you whether or not it's possible. Or if it's not possible, uh, I'll adjust it. Or if it's just absolutely not possible, I'll tell you try again. <laughs> yeah. So if the if the raw teleportation doesn't work, well, you can try. We something. can adjust it exactly. So, so I, yeah, I think just but, we have a couple ideas. I think just I'd prioritize say, the ones you want to do first. I'd say, I hey uh, Jolly, hmm. do you want to try it? The roll? Yeah. Do you want to do you want to try and roll for one of them? <sighs> what do you? Which one are you going to try and go for? I don't know. I just I don't know if it's going to work. That's the thing. So you, let me just roll it. Yeah, it's too high. So <laughs> the cooking is almost, it's almost, almost nice. What does she get if she rolls a sixty-nine? <laughs> she gets nice. <laughs> the sky opens. <laughs> God simply says, "Nice." Nice. <laughs> uh, There's this I... weird ethereal hand that pops up and gives her a high five and then just disappears. <laughs> um. If we're gonna go straight to the birthday party, I mean, she can roll, like, I don't know yeah, if we're gonna the, do that. Yeah, there's a couple days. Yeah, oh, you have Okay. Three, today's the 10th, um, 11th, 12th, 13th, so you have three more, and then 14th, yeah. if you want to do it before the party. Though, yeah. before you roll all of those... do it after the party. Or at the party, even no, at the party! <laughs> oh no, it yeah. works! And it's Surprise inside, guest! And it's a... <laughs> inside! <laughs> <laughs> surprise guest. This surprise really guest. Oh, he's dead. We have to. <laughs> we have to amend the wish if it's at the party. It's like I wish insight were here inside of a big cake. <laughs> <laughs> no! I hand just old, appears like, out of the top of a cake and then the just cake. goes. <laughs> it just flops over. Terminator dead. sinking into oh the lava God. pit, except for the lava cake. <laughs> Uh, yeah, is there anything else you guys want to do over the next couple of days? Because if so, we can do Jolly's three rolls. Oh, oh right, you wanted to do something at night. Oh, at shit, night? yeah. What's up, Rosa? Which one of us are you talking to? To me? Or someone else? You, even though the check. one next to you seems very ready to do something as well. No, I have nothing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sitting here going, oh, I'm 
Most is just checking on her siblings. Ah, uh, observance, right. So the only one that is resisting is your brother. Make a suggestion. So, uh, at some point, Rudy will probably just tell you if, like, I can send a message to them to like fail the thing so that he doesn't like so that he fails it on purpose. Yeah, he might. Dude, not cut the shit. He might not believe you're a good person. I I say this with love, but um, he's dumber than a rock of fucking shit bricks. I know that doesn't make any sense because he doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's fine. I was, you know. Okay. I love him, but he's dumb. <laughs> Can't roll for shit against us. Uh, yeah, he, he fails every time. <laughs> uh, she's only checking on him one day and then... Oh, okay. Sister, yeah, cause I need to check on all three to make sure I know where they are. Okay, okay. So, uh, which day, uh, which one is the, which one's going to be on the first? Let's do the brother first since he sounds like he's been captured the longest. Got it. Um, you will see that he is still uh, in a dungeon-like area. There is, like, food on a plate nearby. Uh, and his chains are now long enough for him to eat. So, he is a captor, but he is not, like, at risk of being murdered, clearly. Yeah. So, he is alive and is being kept well enough. Is he uh, at the stronghold? Uh, yes, he appears to be. He appears to be inside the stronghold. This, he's in the same spot that you saw him last time. I didn't makes, see him last. We time. We scribed last time, so that's why she hasn't seen. You are. Him. You're right. He's at the stronghold. So I have to ask because there's two, Malaruses, or Mallory. Okay, because I would he, not put it past Lacroix to kidnap. That is that is very fair. So no, you. If if you if you wish, he is in Windermere Stronghold. Oh wait, no, not Windermere. I'm like Windermere now. Barca. Barca. He is in Barca. You could that confused me for a second. I was like, wait, no, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> and next up, we'll do not Noissa because she's still semi safe. So we'll do uh, uh, Melody next. Okay. At this point, you see Melody like she would basically be like on the edge of the desert heading back up to Barca. Um, they are no longer in like the cavern-like areas that you saw previously, which means that you think that maybe they were in the canyons at one point, and either they turned around or they were making their way out. Because now okay. they're going through the desert towards Barca. Okay. And then the last day, Mercy will check on Noessa. She is in Odell. Okay, she's still she is, she is somewhere in Odella. Um, basically, uh, I would say right now, <sighs> she would probably actually be somewhere near the, somewhere near gold, the gold pass Valley. So right around here. And she is hiding out somewhere in the woods. Oh, are we dealt with misfortune at? Uh, yes. Close, close enough. I feel like Mercy does this out outside every time they're there because she does it in the garden. Every night she comes in holding her arm a piece, just kind of rubbing her face and goes straight to bed. That's fair. Okay. Anything else you need to do? Okay. Jolly, would you like to do your three rolls? Okay. Um. Oh, oh yeah. So nothing weird happens at night, right? Just... Fucking, I hate that fucking paralysis demon so much. That's fair. I, That's fair. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't think so. Not these couple of nights because you are home. Which okay. Makes it just a little bit better. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. You feel, um, you feel safe. Well, for now. Oh. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking <laughs> god. <laughs> There are people who play entire campaigns and never even roll it once. <laughs> Jolly gets it on like the third try. <laughs> She's Towson! That's the thing! So, Jolly, you oh. gotta make a decision now. Oh no! This is so much shit! <laughs> I didn't think this What do you wish for, Jolly? <laughs> say, you've gotta so start. We can either skip Vermune, we can. <laughs> Do something to LaCroix. Ah! So, yeah. The, the ideas that have been presented. 
take the artifact from Lacroix, uh, from from Lacroix. Um, <laughs> kill kill uh, Insight right now, so you don't have to go there. Bring him um, here, so we can kill him here. Like or, that's, or that bring was, him to you. That was my suggestion: was bring him here, so we can um, kill him here, and then um, go over there. There's still the idea of summoning, of bringing Marks back. That still is an idea that was presented at one point. Um, <laughs> can I make a suggestion? Okay. What's okay. one no, something no. else that? My suggestion was we go to break so that Jolly can think about it. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're, we've been going for about an hour and a half. We're going to go on a break. We'll be back in about five to ten minutes. And we'll see what they decide. <laughs> First and foremost. Jolly? Yes? When did you do this? Uh. What time? Day? <laughs> night? Uh, when did you do this? I think probably maybe the eleventh at night. Got it. Before she go before she goes to bed. I like to think that she does the, the divine intervention bedtime prayers. before bedtime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um Okay. So Maddie. Actually, I need to change the music for this. Hold on. Oh god. <laughs> I need to change the music for this. This uh, this this peaceful music does not match. The tension in my shoulders right now. Well, you think you're tense. <laughs> my bones are going to fall out. <laughs> my bones are going to fall out. That's amazing. I still can't fucking this. This is absolutely insane. I well, love this. The okay, Connor. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, luckily it's a non-video thing, so it's fine. It doesn't mess us up. Mm -hmm. Maddie, it's 11 o'clock at night. You right. are preparing to turn in. You're getting your bed clothes ready. You've made your meals for everybody else, and like a nightly ritual, you decided to try and perform a divine intervention mm -hmm. to use the power bestowed upon you by the source and try to enforce your will upon something. And you haven't figured out if there's a prayer motion you're supposed to make or <laughs> a statement or what have you, so you just kind of sit on your bed, just kind of clasp your hands together, and their eyes kind of half open, you just kind of focus hard. And then that dim light behind your eyes brightens and brightens and brightens until it becomes a beacon casting outward from your eyes. And then suddenly it goes out. The dim light behind Maddie's eyes vanishes. At least for now. It goes away. And you don't know exactly when it's going to come back, but you know it will. And far away from here, far from Odella, we go to a bedroom. A bedroom inside of a stronghold that was overtaken, where a man has made himself into the new king of this castle. And inside of this bedroom, he rests. He is asleep, he's at peace. His plans are in motion, his machinations almost fulfilled. And then he's rudely awakened by a golden white form, feminine in appearance that appears in the room, blinded. 
and he wakes with a start as this blinding figure begins to glow brighter and brighter and brighter like a supernova. And we all see from the outside as the light begins to pour out of one of the windows in this deep, dark stronghold. Windows shatter as an explosion rocks the inside of the room. And Maddie, you feel that you have in some way, shape or form crippled Mr. Lacroix. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what the dice decided. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I should inform the others about it. Like, I know what happened, right? Basically. You know he has been crippled in some way, but you, you didn't specify, so you don't know how your will was taken out on him. Mm -hmm. But you know he's crippled in some way. He's weakened. Hurts. Okay. Something of the sort. You don't know what, but you know something happened. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I... <laughs> I think the first thing before, like, people... Um, I'm pretty sure that everyone went to bed at some point, right? So, um... Oh, they're likely all asleep right now. Ah, <sighs> shit. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I guess the first thing she'll do was probably knock on Dea's door or something. Okay, um, you head you head to the room that's right across from yours. Mm hmm. Dea, over the light sleeper, bounces out of bed. What? What's up? What? Who's who's there? Um, Dea. Uh, Dorf, what? What's what's up? Oh, that's um, uh. So, um, the thing worked. <laughs> the, 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 the magic source thing? Yeah, um, I, I, I did it on, um, La, La Croix. What, what did you do? I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I, I think I crippled him somehow. Um, I don't know what happened necessarily, but, um, <sighs> something happened to him. Well, that sounds like great news. Um, uh, hopefully it'll be easier to take out now. It's, uh, yeah, I, I hope, um, for some reason my eyes are not going anymore, but I I think it will come back eventually. Well, I don't know anything about it, so if you yeah. feel that way, and but I don't know any better. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I don't know. I just I just wanted to tell you um that it happened. So yeah. Um. I I guess I could uh. Go to bed now. So <laughs> sorry. Should, should we should we tell the others or um, tell them in the morning? Or I I, I, this... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know that it's urgent, but it's not really urgent. I guess I can tell everybody in the morning. Um, but yeah, okay. that's. I just wanted to tell you first. So great. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Mm hmm. Well, uh, she kind of blushes a little bit. It was like, well, I, I, I guess uh, I'm going back to my room now. Sorry. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Good night. I guess. <laughs> Good night. Then duck back into the room. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. So, um, okay. I will wait for people in the morning to tell everybody. <laughs> All right, so you go back to sleep as best you can, knowing that you have inflicted a severe wound upon one of your 
most dangerous enemies. Look, he did it to me, so this is mm -hmm. payback for you what he did. I, I will say, uh, I, I actually have not told Maddie what has happened, because um, the interesting thing about Divine Inter Intervention, almost every time it's used, it's expected for you to be using it in a, in a way that is observable. Mm -hmm. This is not observable. <laughs> So you, she can't immediately see what's happened. <laughs> so, yeah. I could probably ask Mercy to check on the claw. <laughs> no, no, okay. Uh, I will put it this way. If you want to ask her in game, I have a response I can give you. But I'll just tell you now, she's not going to check on him for at least a few days. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's not right good. now, unfortunately. Crying is also thing. an option. I will point that out. Oh, like right. I could ask. Uh, no, I could ask Rudy way. then. Um, she won't cry on him. She'll cry on someone else because he'll pass. But she'll cry on someone else in that group. But, but I also yeah. love the idea of him purposely letting you cry on him just so he can turn and go, "What the fuck did you do?" Well, he, he won't he know? know. Yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah, he won't know. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I wonder who that big celestial glowing. Huh. Yeah, oh, I mean... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's a also, smart... Dolly, remember, to, yeah. remember to turn yourself off of private rules. Oh, okay. I didn't know you wanted me to be... No, 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 no. no. It didn't need to be public. Uh, I just... I wanted you to, rem to remind you of that just in case. Because, like... Oh. Otherwise, everybody's going to be seeing a bunch of... Going to be seeing a bunch of question mark question rules marks. from you. <laughs> no, it's okay. I didn't know if it was private or not. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Wow. Um... <laughs> wow. I... I... That... This is genuinely wild. Okay. Oh. Next day comes. Um, literally two days. Two days after you guys had your nice big chat, you're like, what should we do? Well, we got a couple options. All right. Two days later. <laughs> two days later. Hey, guys. So we're having this discussion. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, Maddie, it's the 12th. I uh, know by this point it'd be the 13th because you guys went to sleep. So the 13th of summer. My, the 11th I, 13... No. No, because she tried on the day of, it didn't oh, work. Right. She then followed it up, it didn't work. And then 13th. It worked. Yeah. yeah and then it worked. So, party. so it's the 13th of summer. <laughs> Maddie, you awaken. You feel, you feel good. Okay. And you realize when you look in the mirror um, at your vanity, your lights are still dim. And what happened last night was not a dream. Oh. Mm hmm. Ah, you gotta go talk to the others now, cop. I didn't expect it to work, so... <laughs> yeah, so, um, in order for her to, like, probably, um, maybe distract herself, she's probably gonna cook <laughs> breakfast, <maybe. laughs> Um, hopefully it's not a bad roll, but, you know, I doubted myself before. Um, yeah, let's, uh, how did that go? It's a oh, it's sold 27. <laughs> <laughs> Truly the most terrible of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, you managed to make uh, what is essentially a nice set of crepes for everybody. Um, oh. Various kinds, savory, sweet, and everything in between. As uh, some folks like uh, the regular old um, orange, orange marmalade, uh, whipped cream, and uh, a little bit of, I believe it's... What's the, what's the alcohol that's poured over it and then lit on fire? I can't remember. I can't remember the name. Is it? Uh, I feel like it might be cognac, but I could be wrong. I think it is cognac. That's it. I think it's cognac. Cognac is commonly used for that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. it's con con uh, typically used for okay. a flambe. Okay. Uh, or just if someone wants like a more savory one, uh, you get all, all sorts of people here. Um, so you're making crepes for everybody. Are these noticeably fancier crepes than Maddie used to ma usually makes? Whoops. Uh, I mean, they're they're crepes by Maddie. Maddie consistently makes good food, so I can't say Maddie. that. We need a shirt of that for a new restaurant. Thanks. <laughs>
Um, well, I, I'm assuming that people were like gathered to eat, right? So. Nope. Um. Yep. So. Everybody's here. <laughs> yeah. Um. So remember that discussion that we had two days ago about what to do with the, you know, with the source's power. Um. Mm -hmm. yeah. It. It worked. <laughs> Surprisingly, True. um, I kind of crippled the quad. I don't know what happened to him. I mean, we can find out. You want to find out what happened to him? We can look in a little bit. Not necessarily on him, but I'm sure uh, Will's father is there too. <laughs> I, I will add this, seeing how ever upset the crew is. Oh, Rudy, not to bust your bubble on this one. The last time I spied on O's dad, he wasn't anywhere near them. I have a feeling he's being kept in a safe bunker. I could try Rose's mom. It's worth a shot. She has better odds of being there than he does. No offense, Ro, but your dad's kind of a weak man. I need a list of why you think I would take offense to that. <laughs> Itemized, alphabetized. Is it gonna be in chronological order as well? Can't be. <laughs> I could do it right now. I've prepped it for the day because I figured at some point a lot of people are looking in on things, so. I also like to look in on my mother, but. Too much! I can do that later. Um. Yeah, I can do it. If you don't have any success today, I'll try tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try scrying. On Rose Mama. Okay. Uh, I have not met her, unfortunately. You have not? Do you have anything? Don't we have an object of hers, though? Uh, costume. Does Rose count? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, question. Does a cast iron pan count? Yeah, it's her object. <laughs> I stole it from her house eons ago. That worked. Uh, I'll I'll count that, even though realistically, you know, she never fucking touched a cast iron <laughs> pan. Come on. I mean, if you have. Woman, woman who boils stomach. chicken, never gonna touch a fucking cast iron pan. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they had a they had a house cook. She yeah. Me, we knocked her you, out. I was gonna say, didn't you steal jewelry from her or something? That too. You did steal jewelry. That's why so, I'm not too bothered. We have an object of her, so I think that adds. It's a five. Possession of garment is minus four to the save modifier. And then I've only heard about her, so it's a plus, a plus five. We can also have a picture of her, which is a minus two. So she so gets a minus a, one. Minus one. Minus one. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah, she that's was. all she's gonna get. Yeah, that's fine. Because you don't have, get. you don't have anything of hers. You don't have anything like that. So I don't as have any like concerned. hair or anything. So no. 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 Um. So she, she will pass. Hmm. Yeah. No. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I can try your father. He might not be there, but he could maybe hear it. I wouldn't waste one on it. I'm not gonna try- well... I'll try LaCroix. Why not? Let's okay! Have Let's have some fun with okay. it. Okay! <laughs> he could roll low, I don't know! Yeah, it's, it's true! He could, he could roll roll. He could roll low. All of us eating uh -huh. crepes, watching Rudy like. So. No work. <laughs> where or where did his he go? We don't have oh, anything, but we have met him, so there is a. Yeah, yeah, but he's got like what? Probably a plus thirteen, if not higher. Well, you has... do have likeness of picture. Yeah. Weird. So it's like minus two of a plus thirteen. I know it's not gonna work, but hey, why not? Try. There's nothing do, wrong with it. Do we pick up anything of his at his lab? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh my uh, god! Oh! Uh, Even if he's uh, crippled, he's still got a twenty. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Natural fucking twenty. Uh, I believe you. All right. Well. Best best part. Uh, this uh this die that I rolled is part of the Marianas trench uh set. How fitting. <laughs> Rudy's just like, yeah, that definitely didn't work. He's probably super paranoid right now. <laughs> what was that? What was that, Joe? Sorry. On a natural 20, flips that shit around. 
<laughs> what uh, are you hey. doing? Sure. Don't put ideas into his head, uh, Jill. Um, uh, Muzzy will say again, I can try it tomorrow. I, uh, okay. I, I need to use my one today on that's, something else. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. I, I'll find out exactly what happened. Chances are either he'll see it, which, you know, will piss him off more, and maybe he'll monologue like a proper douchebag, or, you know. What? Oh. What are we sending on him? I just ask. That's just mean, actually. <laughs> yeah, so he he sentenced Maddie to death. I don't feel like being nice. Actually, you know, buddy. actually no, you, you might not answer that. I do have a suggestion though. What? Dream. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say when you referenced like calling off, I was like, oh wait, maybe I could do just... that. I could We're do that tonight. Out with you in a dream. <laughs> also, I don't think ever said uh, Lacroix's uh, first name, and I've decided on it, and it feels so perfect for him. Okay. <laughs> now, anyway, here's the thing. This is when we find out his first name is also Bo's first name. <laughs> if if he... Ros Rosalind Lacroix. <laughs> it's all connected. It, <laughs> no, his first name is Sparkling. So it's Sparkling. Sparkling Lacroix. <laughs> no, if if he Hint falls. Into watermelon Lacroix. <laughs> If he falls too Coconut. much in, if he falls too much into fear, it might be possible that the artifact will simply assume total control over his actions. I think that's how the artifact works. It's hard to tell though with what it is. It is the fear artifact giving him a K Kiri, uh, Kiri, why did I say Kiri? What the? F what? That's my other Saturday character. I'm so sorry. What? Uh. My other Saturday character. No, hero. completely wrong character. I know. What I fucking think... game do you think you're in? I think it would be very funny if Lacroix lost his ability to be a smarmy motherfucker. I so don't he think just can't he can't talk no more. God, that would be brutal. Lost it. Can they come of us? Erida just sort of looks at her at her things and she's like, "I hope it doesn't take you over." You remember, I have one. Yeah, but yours isn't corrupted by you know. This isn't corrupted, it's just being used. By a real douchebag. Yeah, by a real douchebag. Uh, it's up to you in this case, we'll find out tomorrow regardless. I can do dream, that'll be fun. Happy birthday to you! Happy <laughs> birthday to you! <laughs> what happened, happened to this guy? <laughs> Happy birthday to you! I'm not gonna do dream tonight, I can do it tomorrow if, if we don't find out anything from... God. <laughs> I think it's just weird that we're doing this before Rose's birthday, so... No, no, <laughs> no, no it's great. Uh, oh, no, 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 Maddie, Maddie, yeah. I say this as someone who's been friends with Roe a very long time. Mm -hmm. Nothing brings Roe more pleasure than seeing people she hates suffer. Mm. That's true. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I still need to bake that cake, though, so, uh... <laughs> that will be the next day. I mean, we can skip to that. I, don't know. I have to prep the batter, Rudy! <laughs> like... <laughs> There's a 24-hour ma married lady that needs to go on this meet. Well, I don't know how to cook. It, Ma Maddie gave, like, Ro the best birthday gift she <laughs> could have asked for. Absolutely. No sex looks for me now, remember? I, I, I don't need say, to know how to cook. I will say this. It does mean he'll be easier to go after between the two. So that Hopefully. means we should take the stronger guy out first. I don't know necessarily if that's true. We'll figure it out later. Yeah, that, yeah, that's just a thought to keep in mind when we get to it later. We mm -hmm. still have other things to worry about first. We still have so much to worry about first. Because no matter what, both of them are still going to be stupid strong. Yeah. But... Um. Anyway, this crepes are great. Uh, Maddie, you know, this is another reason I don't need to learn how to cook. Maddie's here. Yeah. That's and... codependent behavior. You're gonna have to learn to cook one day. I'm <laughs> evil. I uh, I'm gonna Rose leave you gonna all. Live with us forever. I'm gonna Yay. leave you all to it, Bo. Well, you can have the rest of my crepe. The the one brain cell squad retires <laughs> together. It, Maddie and Daya have their house. And Ro is also there. <laughs> it's wonderful. Over the garage. <laughs> <laughs> me and you, me, you, best friend Steve. Steve. Yeah. 
<laughs> and knuckles. Yeah. God damn it. What? What do you expect Nothing. from us? Nothing. Don't worry about it. So next day? Next day. Rose birthday. It is officially Rose birthday. Buzz is gonna come to the breakfast table and go, okay, Ro, well, for your present, let me let me look on him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, I have something else for later. And Mercy will make sure there's nothing covering the eyeball. <laughs> and she birthday, will Mercy strips. To be fair. Dwayne. Dwayne. Shit. Dwayne shit. Shit. We should have invited the wallflowers. Oh, yeah. Retcon. Like, oh. I guess they could have uh, you have, it. Yeah, several days. You could do it. Like, yeah, Rudy yeah. would have, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, oh, no, you can't do it. No, it's fine. I don't care. Rudy you would have said that, but you make me take note that every time I take my armor off. Cause yeah, because it's it. funny. Who, who did we lose? The music. The music. Oh, the music. Right. I'm, changing the, I'm changing the song. And Mercy okay. will turn her gaze onto lacrosse. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. I specifically want him to know I'm looking at him. That's fair. That's totally fair. He is back at that. You're fucking kidding me. What did you roll? Did he fail? That, did he fail? No, that's that's the most amazing karmic did balance. He, he rolled a natural one. Yes! <laughs> that is that. truly. Which, I couldn't have scripted that better. I mean, there's no way he could have gotten it even with because I have a seventeen. Uh, so it's a it's it's a natural one, which means auto fail. Yeah. Uh, if you want him to see you, you can say he sees me. No, no. I want to observe him today without him seeing, and then tomorrow let him see. I want to know okay. ahead of time what's <laughs> going on, so that way when I force it tomorrow, he doesn't know I already know what's going on. Okay. Um, <sighs> you. Hey, this song again. We're in a metaphorical party high right now. What's his name? Not here? Cowboy hat in here somewhere that could work. Damn. So you um begin to look in on Mr. Lacroix and the eye of the fifth horseman makes its way uh to the stronghold. The Windermere stronghold, you are correct, he is there. And you begin to move in near a window as you see a chair get pitched across the room and smash against smash against the wall as you see Rose mother kind of move out of the way and go I didn't do anything you don't need to fucking take it out on me uh, and as the eye moves into the room you see the what appears to be Mr. Lacroix uh, who is now very badly disfigured as it looks like something has scorched the upper section of his face and a good chunk of the front of his hair. And like like someone peeled the skin back and burnt it to shreds, you can practically see bone. Well, but not only that, you see that one of his hands is just a mess, a withered, crumbled mess. And he is supporting himself using this messed up hand on a table as his leg on his left side is gone. Oh, oh my he took a leg. <laughs> Must uh, and and I will say, judging by the coloration to his eyes, if he is not blind, he is very, very hard of seeing right now. Some of this he could probably heal, but others it's going to be too much of a hassle. It depends. If it's persistent and deity level, he might not be able to heal it so easily. <laughs> Um, oh, no. you, you can see from the from the actual injury itself, like the the upper section of his mouth is gone, like it's like burned down to teeth. So he only has like his lower lips and only a little bit left. He looks like a horror show. Is he just throwing a temper tantrum this entire time? He's furious. He is absolutely fucking furious. Did that uh, take stuff off his charisma score? Uh, it took stuff off of something. Uh, okay. I will not confirm what. Uh. But you see that he is. <sighs> I'll fucking kill them all! I'll fucking kill them all! I'll kill them! 
I'll find the cunt. I'll find her. I'll kill her. Hey, Connie, can I switch suddenly to make the IBC in the second he says that? <laughs> yes, you can. I for story reasons, I want him as he looks and starts saying that the eyes show up. <laughs> he looks at the he looks at the eyes best he can. His eyes not focusing well, and you see he stares up at the eye and goes, "You, you, I'll fucking kill all of you. I'll kill you all. I'll kill all of you." You're dead. You're dead. <sighs> you all wish you went to the house. You wish your fucking father got a hold of you by the time I'm done with you all. You think he talks and to all girls so sweetly? He rages at you. <laughs> Mercy's just watching this. I imagine in person, her hands are folded in front of her with a small smile on her face. <laughs> Ro is ready with the psychic paper when she comes out of it. Ro wants to see exactly what Mercy saw. That's gonna be a picture for the mantle. Oh. <laughs> I want- when Mercy comes out, unless he does something else dramatic, Mercy's gonna pull out now. Uh, no, I, as a matter of fact, Lacroix is completely missing his normal, um, almost like a unflappable attitude okay. and smarm to him. He is you got what you so <laughs> fucking angry. He just rages at you for as long as that eye is visible. He just screams and shouts, spittle flying from his mouth. He is beyond furious. When Mercy comes out, she's going to look at her with the psychic like, paper and she goes, I want to show you this first and pat her hand down. And it's uh, <laughs> the image of the chair being thrown at her mom. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, yeah. First of all, he's stupid pissed. Because, um, Maddie? Yeah? I don't know what kind of fucking magic juju you got going on, but, and she's gonna smack the paper at this point and go, You fucked him up. Uh, I look at the paper, um, and <laughs> I'm like, Oh! Hmm. I know well, you can't really see it all in this, but. There's no way he's staying properly right now. I mean, he deserved it for what he did to me, so... Oh, he has said he's gonna make kill us, he's gonna fucking miserable. He said specifically to me, because I let him see the eye, because I wanted to hear his reaction, um, <laughs> that he was gonna make me wish I had gone to the hells and my father had taken me. He's pissed. I like to see him try. Uh, this will be fun. <laughs> you know what this the funny is thing is? is? Um, hold on, and Mercy's gonna, like... Had a few pieces of paper and animate it to the chest. <laughs> I, I, I still don't think yeah. Haru has seen. I still don't think Haru has seen him in person. No, Har Haru, you've so. you've never even seen what this guy looks like, and now you're looking at a man who looks like he's he like the best way to describe it. He looks like a bomb went off in his hands that he was holding like this. I, I specifically gave the one where spittle was flying out of his mouth, by the way. So he looks stupid pissed. Yeah. Uh, but no, Mercy he's, he's fucked a up. and gives Ro like the images of it moving and barely missing her mom. Jesus. <laughs> uh, this is good. <laughs> Did he create those monstrosities there. in his own image? Ooh. You know, Haru, the funny thing about fate is it has a way of coming back to you, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. And also, Gil. He could take some anger lessons from you, man. He Seems could. Like Maddie, you're amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't really think it was gonna work, to be honest, but... I mean, he deserved it, so... Yeah. Holy. Uh, yeah. Well, we should make sure to put him out of his I misery. Can't say no. <laughs> Gail, we definitely will put him out of his misery, don't you worry. I'm not worried. Not worried at all. I feel like Gail's smiling when he says that, and that's a little unnerving. There's a, there is a small <laughs> smile. There's a small knowing <laughs> smile. I mean, like I did promise him at one point. Uh, I did promise to drink wine from his skull at one point, so... <laughs> it might be a little harder now since, um... Still there? It's still there, but it might be the a bones, The bone is still... I'll, I'll say, it, like I said, the bone is still there, but really it's like... If you have ever seen a severe burn victim or like someone who like 
use your imagination, someone who like just got like a good chunk of their skin just like burnt mm. to a crisp. I was crisp. Just thinking of Two Face. Yeah, yeah, That's he's true. no, like it's it's like it's like this. I know uh, Two Face is. Uh, Two faces. Yeah, I was motioning the two face thing, but I know it's. That's that's a pretty close way of comparing it. Yeah. I mean, that is a good start off uh, the birthday party day. I guess, right? It's a good way to start. I mean, the death of your enemies is usually a pretty good present. So. He's not dead yet. He will. Oh. Also, Haru's gaze does not linger on it. He very quickly looks away. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I Ro yeah. Ro puts it on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fridge. <laughs> There's, an ice box. Yeah. There's an ice box. box. There's an ice box. That is true. Ro puts it on the ice box. <laughs> I was like, come on, that's unreal. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's supported well, by a magnet that has a middle finger on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Oh, this is so um, good. I didn't. I didn't think this is how the session was gonna go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you did have a think... party. <laughs> Connor, the amount of times you've said that at this point. Yeah, like I, you it's. Go... It, I'm still kind of trying. I'm still reeling, to be honest with you, dude. No, no. In general, Connor, you say that a lot because we throw so many curveballs. Yeah, you do a lot of weird shit. <laughs> it's I mean, only look... gonna get worse. Imagine next open. campaign when half of us are actually playing smart characters. I can I only hope it. that Mercy is watching when, when Malaris lays eyes upon the Qua. Oh, <laughs> As another really person gorgeous. who makes monstrosities from Oh, people. they're not gonna- If they meet, that's a bad thing because like- If they meet, they'll kill each other and they, that's good for everyone. That's true. No. However, if one of them wins, the other one's gonna get the other one's power probably. Yeah, we don't want that. Connor, what the fuck? Bring a book. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you just weren't there all of a sudden. I was very confused. I will say this. It's a day of celebration. Mercy feels good. Connor, I'm gonna roll for it. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, oh yeah! Happy yeah, birthday, Bernie! <laughs> a reminder to the crowd, uh, I'm rolling to see if I pull from the deck of many things. Uh, uh, okay. The only way you can make my day better. I have to get a six- <laughs> I have to beat a DC of six, so I have to match yep. a six. Yep. I will say this, since it's Rose's birthday, I will re-roll it if it's below. No! no take the first roll, whatever you get. Don't! Pass it around. <laughs> it was a six exact, and my wisdom's a plus one, so seven. Fuck you. <laughs> Night. Actually, you know what? I will say, you know what? You're right. This is a day of celebration. You can't help but feel really good. Roll again. Oh my god. <laughs> I gave Connor full permission to decide when this happened. Just devious little plan. Uh, that's an 11 on the die. Yeah, fuck. I will say, uh, probably in another session or two, it's gonna go up to a 7. This guy is blue, the sun is shining on days like this. Kids like you should be drawing from the fucking deck. <laughs> Do it! Look, man, the it got my... put in the hands of the gambler. Party. Everybody, let's have a party. 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 I think it's a, it's a dinner party, so like, we've got this is a dinner party. I need assistance for cooking. <laughs> you <laughs> got it. I'm Thank you guys. I'm yeah. here to help. Uh, is, is, uh... They will very, like, shyly watch from the doorway, like, do you need, do you need more help? Alright, uh, Gibson, Gail's gonna run and grab him. Uh, Connor, <laughs> question. Yes. Is Black Iron still here in town? Black Iron is still here. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna go hang out with Alice until it's time for the party. Yeah, I will. I will point out none of the blue cloaks have left town. That's weird. No, that's weird. Not a single one of them. I mean, I kind of want to ask Avro about that. I mean, Mercy's been working mm -hmm. with Avro every day Let since me... we've gotten here during the day. Is that you're cooking? Roll again. You roll advantage. Let me, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Let me. Let me do that. I can't. You I can't do better. Than better. Me. That's better. There <laughs> so, we but no. Mosey's been working with Avro every day, and that's where she is when she leaves that morning after spying on the core. Just... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk with you over there real quick. I'm just curious about this at this point, I, and I assume they're all hanging out at that bar anyway, so... Yep. M many of them are either, like, constantly at the bar, or just keep coming back to the bar. Um, and I'll say probably for this, Mosey's carrying probably what looks like a few letters that Avro has been getting. 
and bleeding through them herself. <laughs> I found it's. I think that's very much Rose cake, it's to be honest. Well. <laughs> oh. But Mercy has pretty much been working as an assistant to keep up to date on everything going on. Have a quick conversation with Avro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before hanging out with Alice. It's a pretty cake, Jolly. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. Uh, I'm assuming he's in his office when we get there. Yes. Knock on the door. You can just usually go in, Cody. I, I don't- I want to be rude. Mercy just walks in. <sighs> he just falls behind. Cody can do what I... she wants. Mercy's setting the paper back down and getting to the work she's been doing. Hi. Hi, Avril. I have a question. Not that I don't love, you know, seeing my girlfriend. I do. Uh, but normally they'd all be out. And like, all of the adventurers are here. Yep. Why? Well, first off, there's the whole question of going to war with a country. Second, there's... Well, no. It was mostly the first one, and then I had more reason to keep them here when someone blew up part of your home. Okay, I mean... It's, it's funny because she's just like, hmm, she's trying to avoid having the other blue cloaks going to that. I was hoping they wouldn't. It's if you don't want any of their help, that's fine. No, but no. it's it's literally what we are supposed to be doing. I know. I, just... I know it makes sense. It makes sense. I'm not gonna say no to that. All right. Well, I don't know. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. I was just wondering. I'm gonna go hang out with Alice now. Bye. And she just walks out. It's just, I don't know. As you walk out, Messi goes, Abba, this one needs your signature on it. Alright, bring it in. Then, yeah. Um. Yeah, so. Um, that has occurred. Uh, Jolly. Yes. Do you want to roll for cooking? Yes! I did. roll another uh, and well, D100, right? 26. <laughs> okay. No, cooking! Cooking! Oh, I thought it was cooking! <laughs> she already wrote a cooking thing. I did! It's like 26! I don't know what oh, the okay. food is, though. <laughs> oh, 92. fair point. <laughs> hey, it's funny, you rolled an 8 to get... The one and a 92 now for this. You a one uh, one. Yeah, you're right, you did. <laughs> Not to be a fucking numbers nerd. I could never live up to anyone in this group with math. Oh yeah, I want to mention on the cake. So yeah, it's, it's red, red velvet, but there's like a cake topper that's a possum. Like a small little possum on top. <laughs> Because I don't roll those pearls so much. <laughs> uh, so, what you just what you decide on? Because uh, and I I'm, I only went with things that were near the roll because uh, the one that you rolled was um, not appetizing. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, but okay. Yeah, uh, but I went for one that was very close to it. Um, okay. You decide on making something very spiced since uh, it sounds like taste wasn't the thing that Ro grew up with. Um, okay. So. You can tell that by her outfits. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ouch. We don't uh, need a second so burn you decide here. To, <laughs> you decide to go for a variation on jambalaya, uh, a heavily oh. spiced dish, um, and you do so by getting a hold of some troll sausage. 
which is oh. a very rich and very hearty meat, if a bit very stinky, actually. Um, mm-hmm. But it has a very heavy and very good taste to it. Uh, combined with all the spices and all the other com- combinations that will be inside of the jambalaya, you think it's actually going to be a pretty good meal. It is also uh, a bit spicy. Okay. You're serving it over rice and noodles. Rice. I nice. have to ask, my dad's a fucking maniac. Did you put it over noodles? Yes. No, oh. you put jambalaya over rice. Hey, Gross. I was I was raised with Cajuns. In fact, his stepdad is a Cajun. But, you know, let's never stop him. The fuck went wrong with him? Is Jill uh, okay? That's just what my dad does. He doesn't like rice. <laughs> Jill's uh, okay-ish, by the way. To answer your question. What's this? Is this just a piece of the wall? <laughs> Why are you handing me a piece of your wall? Don't worry about it. Why is it sticky? It's not part of the wall, sticky tag. Okay. You ding dong? Poor fan, I'm tired. I haven't eaten since like one. <laughs> Chill. By the way, I might have an idea of something that would make the chair throwing even better. Uh-huh. But would need Mercy's help with it. I'm all ears. <laughs> there is a thing that they used to do where you have paper screens that either have ink on them for silhouettes or cutouts, and then a lantern in the middle. Above it is a like fan, so the heat yeah, from a lit spinning. candle spins it oh. while also illuminating like oh, God, it so it casts a silhouette on a wall Nickelodeon? i think it is called a nickelodeon but i'm not i thought no wait a nickelodeon might be a movie theater I, uh, a Nickel- yeah. nickelodeon is the smallest I, I know what you're talking about i i, it starts I forget with a d doesn't it i forget did, the uh, name of it um a nickelodeon is a tv channel thank you Wait, Stop sponge, it. Sponge yeah. Fucking... I, 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 I think... A daguerreotype. Oh, that's it. Um, that's... No, no, a daguerreotype is a type, type of, picture. of picture. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, that was... Uh, hold on. Give me a second. I'm Googling because yeah. I need to know now. I forget the name of it, but you are, we already have the images. Yeah, a bunch of it nerds just, going, oh, what's the name? What's the name? Just need I... to, like, make the woodworking shell no for them. The trope? No, a trope. So Zotro. Zotro. Got yeah. it. That's what it is. See, I Just... took six art history classes. This is probably mm-hmm. something I should know. I went to film school, baby, <laughs> and I'm I got a... nothing. I'm a historian with pop culture as my favorite thing. Oh, yeah. wait, you're a film... you're, you went to film school? Yeah. Who made the first uh, video camera? <laughs> I took uh, one wait, history of film class. I expect this. I just assumed was it? Kodak. No. Me. No, a lot of people say Thomas Edison. It's not I true. It. Film camera. You did it? I did it. Yeah, the film camera. It's a video camera. It's different. But I don't remember because How it's been like... It? I graduated in 2013 and I did not retain any of that information. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> we found it out. We can... <laughs> Let's have a party, guys. Let's have a party. Give yeah, a go, to, go for it, y'all. Give us a second. Quit, quit. We're caressing your mannequin. Don't. So, you all uh, prepare to have uh, a party for Roe. Uh, you've invited a few people here. Uh, for one, Demos uh, would be the most prompt as you did not give him a time. So he just kind of shows up at some point and sticks around until the party starts. So he is he is early. Um, you would also note that the wallflowers do arrive at the place. Um, Anna, you see what? Can I make a weird request? Sure. So this is a party for Ro specifically. So you know Ro is taking time and effort to get ready. Mm-hmm. I imagine Demos arrives and Ro is halfway wet- ready and has to step out of the room to grab something and makes eye contact with him. Yes. Oh, they're very stiff. Yes, that's exactly what Look, gross suffering is part of our... Take what you can get, I guess, you know? Suffering is all part of the birthday experience. That's a trauma thing, isn't it? Uh, probably a little bit, but also... Do birthday parties really matter for you anymore? You're immortal. I 
can't think about that right now. If I... Mm, yes, it, birthdays matter. Give it a hundred years. <laughs> right now, they still matter. <laughs> okay, anyways, you can continue, Connor. I was just giving... Oh, shit. So, um, the wallflowers will arrive. Um, you would note that... Um, <laughs> There is a certain amount of, uh, like, it, it looks like, um, let me make sure I get the name the names right, because I, I, I keep forgetting names. Uh, you see that Aaron does kind of, like, keep looking at the other ones, and, like, I keep looking at them to make sure that they are okay. Uh, after all, they did have a uh, run-in with someone who uh, essentially took control for most of them. So, like, she keeps kind of, like, checking on them. Um, uh, many of the Blue Cloaks will, will show up, if invited. A if you invite, like, all the Blue Cloaks, they'll all arrive at some point. Avro doesn't. Um, but he will send over a very nice, um, a very nice, uh, small, called a boar's head, uh, of, of wine. It's a very, very nice, very, uh, very good vintage, uh, uh, brand. So, there you go. Uh, it also, actually, I, I, I will I will say, uh, it does appear to be Acacian wine. Uh, and it is actually, it is actually labeled the Ilfir Vineyard. Oh. Uh, what kind oh, of... No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, no. Why are they we, we're we could have broken it into his vineyard when we were over there. <laughs> We could still do that. That's on the plate, though. That's on. That's part of the roadmap is breaking into Avro's fucking vineyard that he has. Um, but yes, you see, uh, a, a vast majority of the cloaks will arrive. You see, of course, the scorching Salzari. Uh, so Zout, uh, as as well as a few of the others are present. Um, so your your tall lizard folk friend is present is here. Um, you see that all the members of Black Iron are present. Um, Oz, uh, KC, Alice, all of them. Um, so you have all the blue cloaks around. Um, there is no, um, there is no, oh gosh, what was his name? Amethyst Dragon. Can't remember the name. I'm blanking right now. Kytus. Kytus. There is no Kytus this time. Yeah. As we didn't, we did not get an invite. We didn't invite him. <laughs> Sorry. We could have. I just... I, I did think of him, but I was like, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, ah, fuck him. <laughs> no, I... I don't know. It was Bro's party. That's we fair. had the most important dragon for him. <laughs> I, I would have invited... Very rushed. I think the yeah. last party we had at the state where there was like several weeks planning yeah. and sending out invites. I, I would have invited Kytus for me and that didn't feel right. You just have a very message sent to Kaya's like, you gotta get over here right now! <laughs> and he shows up and like, there's a party! <laughs> there's a huge problem! Party. It's a big party. <laughs> it's an emergency. There's, there's a party and you're not here. The party. I love emergency parties. Um, but yeah, uh, all of your, all of your local compatriots that you would have, you would have invited are here. Is there anybody else in particular that you got, I'm forgetting? Send an invite to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> that just feels mean. <laughs> <laughs> only, only for dad. Though. At the bottom, it says fuck mom. No, no, it says no plus ones. No plus ones. No, no, no Lacroix allowed. To be fair, we can't actually send it, but there's a big sign on the front door that says no Lacroix allowed. <laughs> dad, not welcome. Just in case. Someone's about to come in and seize the sign and put the drinks down. <laughs> there will be no sparkling water at this party. It's not allowed. Good. It's gross. It's so bad. Sparkling water. It's, it's disgusting. Sparkling water. Not LaCroix specifically, but sparkling water. No. Yeah. La LaCroix specifically yeah. is gross. It's gross. All I sparkling agree. water is gross. If you yeah. drink seltzer and you like it, you're old. I am. <laughs> you're right. You are correct. It's not um, even so, 
Yeah, you see, yeah, you would see that uh, the your your servants are also present, but more so in a servantly purpose. <laughs> like, like your butler's here, the the maids here, uh, the gardeners in the garden, uh, throwing shit at people who try to like come into the garden area and like cursing them out and telling them to fuck off. Uh, but what do you guys want to do? Honor. Yep, Even though it. it's currently limited to the greenhouse, does the head with spider legs make an appearance? Oh god, no! <laughs> I forgot that fucking thing! Or, a better question, Jace, would Gale, like, bring it out and set it loose somewhere in the rest of the house? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I mean... No, it's it's Ro's birthday. We're trying not to like traumatize Ro. I put it out on a good night. Any other day, if like if it was Mercy's birthday, maybe. But this is Ro's birthday, so we we long past Mercy's. Let me put it this way: contextually, Mercy's birthday was the day we dealt with the Lord of the Sea. Well, you didn't die to the Lord of the Sea, so happy birthday. Unfortunately, <laughs> I mean what? Uh, <laughs> so, man, I'm gonna row. Roll me a d20. <laughs> okay. Okay. The head does not make an appearance. Thank God. <laughs> so. Anything you guys want to do during the party? This is you can role play. This like you guys have full reign, free reign. Go. I will say this: mine is going to be at the end of the evening when people are starting to sputter out because Mercy wants to make sure there's privacy when she gives her own her thing. That's cool. That's cool. Um, you guys can go do your thing. If Ro challenged Demos to an arm wrestling again, would he throw it on purpose? Only one way to find out. Ro bought a gift for Demos way back. Oh, you did? I did, and I never got to give it to him. So Ro's just kind of going to set up and be like, hey, this is, uh, this is like my birthday, and this is weird, but I never got a chance. I bought you this, and it's just a little dragon. I didn't know what you oh. liked, but I found a guy who made cool stuff, so I bought this, and then we got attacked by Mercy's dad, and everything got fucked up, and now it's here on my birthday. Oh, it's certainly not how birthdays are supposed to go, if I recall correctly, but it is brilliant craftsmanship. craftsmanship. Pretty cool, and to be fair, it isn't really even technically my birthday. It's just like, it's my pretend birthday. It's a belated birthday. Yeah, belated. It's fine. It's still technically your birthday. Okay. If I did that, uh, I'm gonna go... Well, I do... Thank you very much for the gift. It's very kind. I'll hold off on providing you yours until everybody else is giving you them as well. For sure. Rose, God. Mercy around the corner. What was that? Rose, walking down the hall. Stiff arms. Uh. No. Dana's is just talking mostly, probably with uh, the twins from the wallflowers and trying to like catch up with them. Um, uh, so I uh, I do wish to uh, apologize for our uh, behavior from last time, uh, as I do believe we were um, attempting to kill you or uh, trap you and. Uh, you know that we, if you had a gold coin for every time we attempted to do that, you would have two, and it is very, uh, very weird that that keeps happening. Well, you know, the, the second time wasn't your fault, so um, I'm sure it won't happen again. I'm sure I won't have three gold coins. No, I, I, ho I hope not. Uh, um, uh, so I'm, I'm not... Uh, one for parties that much. You're, you're speaking to this is the the security 
Uh, twin. She she is uh name. The Vivian. She's Sylvian. I think Vivian is the. No, I think the... Sylvian is the. Right? No, yeah, I Vivian. Think... Vivian is the the gunslinger. Yeah. Okay. It is. I had it backwards. Yeah, you're speaking to Vivian. Uh, Sylvian is is being the life of the party. I I am uh, not uh, too uh, good about these things, and I don't believe we brought you a present. Uh, uh, no, I'm not good at these either, but, uh, you can find Ro and just give it to her. She no, no, was I don't, here. No, I don't, uh, I don't, I did not know what to get as a present. Oh, um, oh, that's fine. I, we kind of strong-armed Ro into having this anyway, so. Okay. Uh, that is fair. Um, I am going to hide somewhere. All right, just don't go into the garden because our gardener is super crabby. He does but... not want anyone to go uh, step on the flowers, and that is exactly. understandable. Yeah, uh, I can show you to the kitchen. Um, that's that probably is, a bit quieter. And uh, I will go there. There's some snacks there. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, show me. Uh, show me the way. Yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and like you kind of like lead Vivian away from the party. Who is very not the talker of the two. Um, anybody else have a character they want to talk to? No. Would you like to provide uh, Roder gifts? Sure. Oh, we'll go first. Uh oh. Yep. So, Gail's going to walk up to Rope. Uh, it's probably, honestly, just a a package that's in paper mm -hmm. uh, just like wrapped in paper and some twine and it's like er happy birthday oh, okay thank you uh... you're welcome I saw these and just thought that'd be fun seems like something you'd like Rose, Rose kind of hesitant to rip into it so she does the, the thing that like nerds do, where you untie, like you undo it and then you unfold it instead of ripping it like a cool person. Hey, you can reuse it. You can reuse it. Reuse, reduce, recycle, baby. Um, so roll, roll, un, un. Yeah. Okay. So you find in the uh, package uh, two things. One, is what appears to be a wooden box, like some kind of. It looks very old, like antique. Uh, you see, it is engraved with a forest scene. And uh, opening the box, you see that inside um, there is what appears to be one dozen uh, chocolate treats of high quality. <laughs> and those will come back every day. <laughs> Uh, and no, there is something else there as well. Uh, it is what appears to be a coin about about this big. Uh, looks to be made of lead. Uh, and it is stamped with an image of some kind of a monster that is made up with bang-filled mouths and an inhuman eyes and grasping tentacles. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's just a cool coin that I saw. Ah. Hope you like it. I do. It's gonna go on my uh, my work desk, where it hopefully will be buried by paper and gunpowder. Her well, Gail taps her on the shoulder, smiles, and walks off. Rose is still stubbing her cheek with the fucking chocolate. <laughs> I mean, if it's made of lead in a pinch, it can save for bullets. <laughs> <laughs> One would think. Mm. Who's next? I can, I can ah. go. Aru. Um, I don't think how I would wrap because it's very small. So he would start by saying, well, I figured that on occasion you might like to enjoy the contents of a book without having to read it, as you say, like a nerd. So I had this crafted for you. And it is 
as per Connie's description, an intricately wrapped silver bookmark with an ear cuff attached via a silver chain. And he'll say, put this on your ear as you might any earring, and put the bookmark in a book, and you'll be able to hear what is inside the book. Fucking audio books. <laughs> Yes. That's so funny. Bro, Bro's just gonna say, she's like, I don't, I don't have a lot of, fun. I'm gonna put this in a, how, it, you have a fairy tale book. It will also project any illustrations within the book. And that book, that fairy tale book would be very illustrated. Cause it is like a first yes. edition, like, very nice fairy tale book. Ro looks at it and is like, hey. Thank you. I'll be right back. And I'm gonna run upstairs, <laughs> grab her, I'll like, and go to her room and just really quickly be like. <laughs> yeah. And what you hear is, once upon a time there was a young lady in the forest. <laughs> and as you hear it's Asajio's voice. What the fuck? <laughs> Asajio is trapped in there. <laughs> That's very cool. Girl, leave it up I was like, cool. I was thinking to myself, who does sound like? Asajio. <laughs> This is going to sound weird. It gives me big vibes of every time um, the identify spell is used in Dimension 20. Ah, uh, yes. And it's Arthur Eggfort. <laughs> another use of the identify spell. <laughs> another use of the identify spell. So yeah, Ro, Ro will run upstairs, do that really quick, and then come back and be like, that's the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. I never have to look at... Oh my god. Rudy. Yes. Hey, up this will walk over with the book that she <laughs> it's perfect you got some uh... there you go now you can use it on that what? it's to help with you use your magic the ability to change things in a, the most amazing way I've seen it's amazing I love birthdays <laughs> it's so creative and this is just to help you be more creative. Really. Oh, oh, you're done. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is so good. I don't have to read this anymore. You know, that's a good thing that Harold got that for you. <laughs> but, you know, it'll help. So. Rose now just hugging this nerd book. Rudy will make you a nerd. <laughs> no, no, uh, no. You will. You have a long time to try. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So I'm trying to write these down as they happen. Uh, audible.com. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make sure to correct these and give proper descriptions. They're on <laughs> Bill's phone right now. So. And it, it, it is a. Uh, like, the ear cuff is fashionable enough to be worn as jewelry. <laughs> Interestingly enough, when, As when, when Asagio asked about mass producing these, he was literally thinking about using it for people who were blind and wanted to read books. Mm -hmm. Braille, so no you, you literally gave him something like, I could make this and That's actually kind of brilliant, yeah. I mean, professional experience. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Ah, I can just go next. Um... Yeah, she'll. Well, I don't know what one of part of the gift is, but you <laughs> know, um, yeah, she'll go up and it'll be in. Um. I guess it'll be wrapped like two. So there's like a, okay, I'm just thinking about how it would be wrapped. So there's like a little goodie bag, um, and inside there's like a pouch, and then like a wrapped gift. Yep. yep. So, yeah, you're you're given this package. All right. Inside, you find one wooden box about yay big, and you open it up, and inside you find about twenty bullets that look like they would be going they would go for your gun. Um, and pulling one of them out, you see that part of it looks to be a regular shot, and then just behind it is some kind of a little glass capsule that holds some kind of a liquid inside of it. And then just behind that is the actual rest of the shot, the primer and the brass and what have you. 
Um, and you see the box is uh, the the box is actually labeled Hush Round. Uh, and then you pull out the other one, and you see something um, something else. It looks like a tube. Oh, yay! Actually, probably about yay big. And this one is is made of complete glass. But you see that the inside of the tube is just kind of like some kind of a liquid. But like, there is an opening for like the barrel to be attached on. So it looks almost like like an attachment to your gun. It's it's it and it's just called a hush tube. Um, it is it is a a silencer that uses what is essentially oil of silence to make it quiet for five shots. Yeah, so, um, uh, I figure, you know, we got some missions ahead where we probably need to be quiet or quieter, um, and gun very loud, uh, bless, bless gun, but loud. So these will help keep it quiet. Mm. Yes. Um, and I will also add, uh, this isn't day speaking. Uh, she doesn't mention this at all, but in the bottom of the bag is also a little, like, scallop shell, like, pristine, that she clearly found on the beach. <laughs> She's like, all right. Um, and, like... <laughs> it's obviously Rosa, thank you. But she's like, yeah. do I want to use... I want to try... One, two... Counting the bullets, like... There's, 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 20. there's 20 bullets. I could try... I could try one. Up or to you. Wait, or I could try one. Or I could wait. I'm gonna wait. Rose does put one uh, in her little inner pocket, just in case she does decide to try it at the party at some point. Outside, not inside. Or inside. I don't know. What we're into. It's quiet. Nobody would know. Yep. I could do it. Nobody would know. <laughs> Who's next? That's, I think there's only. Oh, yeah, I think there's. Yeah, if Maddie has one, Maddie. then I think. I. I, I <laughs> do! Okay. Um, well, she's gonna bring out the cake, because, you know, it's Rose's birthday, so. Um, so, Rod, um, here's the red velvet cake you wanted. Um, I also got you something, and then she kind of, like, pulls out, like, this small, um, box basically um it has something inside so um yeah uh <laughs> hopefully you'll like it i'm not entirely sure um so yeah it's not magical i'm sorry it's more for looks so <laughs> i am fully okay with getting gifts that are only focused on looks i'm a weird <laughs> person yoink <laughs> a kind uh. yoink uh, you open up the package, and inside you find what looks to be a necklace. Um, and inside you see what looks to be a well-crafted small possum that is curled around a pearl. <laughs> Rose very obviously. Uh, Trying not to cry, <laughs> but like that kind of like, um, this is this is really pretty. This is really nice. Yeah. So, oh, I I'm glad you liked the gift. So I thought if you <laughs> Rose putting it on <laughs> as the conversation is like, yes, nice. <laughs> allergies, you know, but I'm just itchy. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you? Where's Pearl? Did you want it to, um. By the way, uh, just for reference, the actual. that The actual possum's cur tail curls up slightly and comes back down, and that's where the chain for the necklace goes through. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I don't even know if the Discord picked up the sound I just made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm dead. Dead. I'm pretty <laughs> In, in post, I'll just like turn it all the way up, see if it hear you hear it. Yeah. Rose, Rose looked very much like yeah, it's supposed to be like pollen or something. <laughs> um, 
as, as soon as Pearl's name is mentioned, she crawls from like an unidentifiable place on Rose's body to like appear on the shoulder, like <laughs> a little possum. Oh, she's around. She's always around. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hope you like it, and hope you like the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, like allergies, okay? Use uh, food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, <God damn. laughs> we got another chocolate from the box in her mouth. Like, <laughs> um, the Demos will move up, uh, and he will produce from his pocket a large scale. Probably about in in his case, it's probably actually about like yay yay wide, yay tall, like it's like a plate. He'll present he'll present it to. Oh, this is significant. I feel like this is significant. Is this significant? This. Well, it's certainly protective. I I mean I know I'm not stupid stupid. I know what it is. She's holding it like, yeah, what, what is it? What? It's what's referred to as a heart scale. It's one of the scales that are closer to the chest. It has only a few uses. You can either use it for luck, which is what I'm typically intended for, or you can use it to protect yourself in a nasty situation or improve your odds for a little bit. Um, you can use it for inspiration once. You can use it to increase your AC to make an attack miss once. With basically, you're, you're making the you're making an attack miss. Uh, or uh, you can change a death a death save failure to a death save success. That's very good. That is very good. good. Once. Very good. And then it's spent. And it's from the heart. It's from heart the scale. heart. Heart scale. Heart scale. It's called. Uh-huh. 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 I'm Pokemon, you can trade it to the move tutor. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. Thank you. I know what I'm going to do. I was thinking. Just <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we training you by? Pearl learned flamethrower. <laughs> 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 Rose uh, just kind of holding it like, oh, that. Uh, yeah. Thank you. This is much cooler than a tiny little dragon. I, you know, thank you. This... Thank you. Um. Oh, right. Let me let me see uh, someone else because I think there's another person who's gonna give you a gift. Um, let me make sure I get their name right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so KK Halford comes up to you. That's the big lioness lady part, uh, that is part of uh, Black Iron. She looks up at you and goes, "Hey, how's it going?" That's pretty great, actually. Really great today, actually. It's a really great day. Cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so back where I'm from, we have this we have this celebration that we do during everyone's birthday. Yeah. Oh, they're called birthday punches. You ready? I'm very delicate. <laughs> <laughs> we give you one for every year. How old are you? None. <laughs> None. Officially zero. <laughs> I actually don't. How old is Rose now? Twenty six, twenty seven. No, she's uh, she's almost as young as uh, Maddie. I, Rose started off at like twenty three. Yeah, mostly. Oh mostly wow. Mostly was twenty four. You were two years younger, I think. So I think you were twenty two when we started. Twenty three, twenty four. Because the years, it's been a, a hot minute. Yeah. Yeah. So. Let me see if I have Mercy's age. Because yes. I think you're two years younger than Mercy. Yeah, I think you're. Yeah, I'm I think you're two years older, older than Mercy. Start. Imagine this tradition after a few centuries. I will point. I will point out. <laughs> KK Halford is a pugilist. 
and they're I'll, I'll, I'll like do you guys know what being dead armed is yeah. yes mm -hmm. yeah three keep getting struck in one spot on the arm <laughs> Oh. It's like a pressure so, point. So, if, if anyone does eventually rat out Ro's age with KK nearby, <laughs> Ro gets like 25 punches all in the same spot on her arm, and by the end of it, your arm is dead and will be bruised tomorrow morning. I don't oh. think Kyra knows Ro's exact age. I'm gonna be honest, I think Mercy may be the only one who knows yeah, how old about too. was. Uh-huh, and? and? There's that always sunny in Philadelphia moment where we make eye contact with the crowd. It's like, Mercy's just gonna motion her over and save her from that. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, no, KK no. does not give you birthday punches. Mercy is a bitch, but it's her birthday celebration. I forgot how old I forgot. Anyway. <laughs> gives you an escape out <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to say now, Mercy. Yeah, Mercy's gonna, as she drags you over, it's gonna kind of sit you down. As I assume the party winds down, goes. You know, when I saved you at that from those fucking bandits all those years ago. We don't need to get into how the story actually went. Let's be safe. Go ahead. It's my birthday. I'll you, you, you're used to your top tails. Let's continue. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I, I would never think we'd be trying to fight your evil parents and your father at the same time. I would. Really? This feels like a tall tale you would have spun. Exactly. You know that, yeah. Are you sure you didn't actually spin this and you're actually a really powerful being and you're all imagining this and that's how it's happening? It's my birthday. I'm gonna need you to be nice to me for about 10 seconds. I am nice to you. I didn't let you get punched. Continue. But, you know, this will all end eventually. And we're probably gonna be big goddamn heroes. I was about to reply sarcastically. That surprised even me. I started this off wanting to be a big goddamn hero and have my name known, but now I just don't care. You just want it to be over. Pretty much. Yeah. I think that's probably what half the party feels right now. But I know you haven't said much compared to the others, but I know you're probably gonna explore some, but you'll eventually settle down. I mean, you've got a long life ahead of you. Cool. And I know you don't like being vulnerable, vulnerable in front of our friends, a trait we share as friends. So none of them saw you back when we were at Gale's village. Well, I've never seen you covered in dirt and been so happy in my life. I... Before she responds, Ro does look and make sure that like all the windows are closed and like the doors closed. It's like, There's nobody nearby. Like, I... I think I like gardening. Yeah, I kind of picked up on that. And Mercy's going to pull a little pouch out of her pocket and set it on your lap. Rose not going to touch it at first. It's like, does it breathe? Will it bite me? Mercy pulls the string up and you notice as it unfurls, there's a array of very standard gardening tools all about this size. Mercy will go, watch, and pull out the shovel. And the second it quits touching the leather, it turns into what would be full-sized for you, but small for Mercy tool. Rose looking at him and goes, I was really prepared for you to make a, a height joke with how small these are, but then you, but they're still, they're appropriately sized for you. And if you, and she touches the handle back on and it goes back down and puts it back in its sleeve. Rose holds it up, sits there for a minute, doing that thing that you do and like you're trying not to be emotional, like your, your jaw is kind of like, I won't look at you if you want to. Dinosaur competition here? I'm just, I'm outside now. I can. I can cry a little bit. It's my birthday. I'm allowed to cry a little it's bit. It's your party. You I can cry if you want Shut to. the fuck up. No. <laughs> Barrow is just going to take a minute and just be like. When this is over, I want to see what you can grow. I don't know anything about gardening. Isn't that exciting, though? Yes, but what if I quit? Okay. How do you grow a carrot? Does a carrot grow on a tree? I've never- I don't know how it, carrots grow. You cut off the top where that little green thing is, and you just leave a little bit, I think, and you throw it in. But I could be wrong. I also don't know how carrots grow. Carrots- <laughs> Carrots come out of the dirt? Yeah, they are root vegetables. <laughs> it's so gross. I love it. It's so dirt. 
tools that she's holding them and also the heart scale at the same time. And as Mercy gets up and looks at uh, Rowan goes, I'm probably not going to be around long after the final. Right. Oh, hold on. Now, wait a minute. Back up. Do you mean like around around or do you mean like breathing heartbeat around around? Around around. So like you're still going to be like alive, but you're not going to be like around. I don't intend to die unless I die in combat. I will not allow myself to die any other way. That's fair. That's fair. If you give me some time, I can help you out with that. I will live forever. I will die trying. Right? <laughs> oh my god. People. The, you know, there's no point in dying except in combat. I have so much red in my family's le ledger. I need to get rid of some of that. You, you and I have different motivations. Mine is for, like, fixing the world that my father fucked up. Yours is because you never got to live a life. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Both of them are trauma. Yeah. Yeah. This is fucked up. But when I can visit, I want to see what you make. <laughs> Ro, so many. And Ro looks around at the garden and is like, she looks at all the stuff we're growing and then she looks past all of that to, like, the woods around the, and she goes, trees. I mean, you I'm could, gonna grow trees. You can make an orchard. Six, at least. That's not a lot of trees. It's a start. I'm gonna start with six trees. Okay. And Mosey's just gonna kind of brush her hands off where she was sitting on the ground. So that way she, if Ro was not sitting beside her, at least she was level with Ro and head back in. Ro digs a tiny little hole in the dirt with the little shovel just to test it out. She's like, yeah. It digs. It digs. It works. It digs. It works. It's, it's like testing it. It's got like a shovel, a trowel. Um, you can dig it. Four. Is it have one of those things? It's got the three little prongs. The tiller. Yeah. Do that just a little bit. Like I don't know if this does, but it makes three lines in the ground, and I think that's cool. Well, you have it's to remember tiller. it's small, but it is perfectly fit for your actual height. So. Yep. Mercy didn't get you one of Gail's family sized. back in after making sure there is no trace of emotional vulnerability anywhere near her. Okay. You do so. The party will start to wind down. The folks will leave. The blue cloaks will... Well, they're all going to go back to the barracks because they don't have estates like you guys do. <laughs> so... We earned I... this! Wait, wait, wait. Can I invite Alice to stay for the night? You can. Cool. She does. And all of you will go to turn in. Turn into what? <laughs> Joke out that we made. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. All right. And as all of you are turning in for the night and going to sleep, Ding dong, before we do this part, I just Yo, want to yeah. say, at the end of the party, Ro definitely stood up on a chair and was like, I didn't even want a birthday party, but if we, this does not apply to everyone, the blue folks, you guys are fine, everyone's fine, this applies to the group as a whole. If we die, this was a really great last party. I'm just going to say that. And then she just sit back down. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I don't know how to make toast. I felt like I just had to say it. <laughs> uh, do you need a drink to help with it? No, that was a good one. Okay, that's fair. Uh, you all turn in for the night, and, um... Ro. You have a dream. Uh, I don't have a bad feeling. I know what this is. It begins. Oh, no. You lay in your bed. Resting comfortably. And as you do so, you begin to see whipping sand that begin to rush past you. You're in the middle of a sandstorm. Your vision is obscured. You can't see everything around you. And it is hot. It's sweltering. Like you're stuck in a furnace. You are trudging through the desert, desperately trying to make your way out. And as you are doing so, you continue walking. And as you as you do, the 
laying on the ground nearby Aerodon. Blood out long ago. And then you see Maddie, stay an echo. Gail, shortly after, a pincushion in the sand. With Haru's small fox form nearby, slowly being consumed by the desert sand, washing over. As the light begins to grow dim, the sandstorm begins to wane slightly. Your visibility reaches out more, closer to 15, 20 feet. Your friend, Mercy, lays dead as well. And in the whipping sand, a little ways away, you see a form, pitch black, wearing a long coat and a hat. Silhouette of a man wearing nice clothing. It's a two noticeable features, two red pinpricks for his eyes. And you wake up from your nightmare. A familiar lead coin clasped in your hand. Rogue fully, like, chucks it across the room. You throw it across the room? Okay. You feel a weight reappear on your person. Gail got you a prank. Gave you a very fun prank. Rogue fully wakes up crying, by the way. Like, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I uh, had to make it horrifying. Like, Fucked up crying like, hey, huh? Sorry. <laughs> um, she's just gonna keep fucking chucking that coin. It, and every, every time, time it comes back. So it's just consistent. <laughs> bam, bam, who's, bam. Whose room is closest? Whose room is closest? I need to check <laughs> this. Rose is on the corner. Mercy's is directly diagonal. So, oh, Rose. you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, Mercy. And I think Erudite and Alice would hear the. Yeah, I think Haru's is like top of the stairs landing, so a few yeah, doors down. Yeah, and, and the else. other side of the the room right next to Rose is, like, I think, empty. And Rose mm -hmm. is just gonna begrudgingly get up, pat one of the dogs. Up. Notices Woody is also up and go, "You hear that, right?" Y yeah. What's Whoa. Uh, Wake up Alice, too. Uh, <laughs> Alice, go back to sleep. We'll deal it's, with it. It's fine, Alice. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Uh, Poor Alice! First time here! She has to deal with this! Bro. Fuck. Fuck. I'm coming in. Oh, We're coming in. Door. What the fuck are you doing? Rose fully still crying like this. I, um, I can't get rid of it. I can't. And she's gonna throw it again. Rudy, can you see whatever she has? And Mercy's gonna like walk over and put her hand on Rose's cheek and press the digitation away all the gross tear marks. Also, she did not remove her makeup, so it is full yeah. in this. Mercy cleaned oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> Prom queen oh, running no. makeup. Rudy will take gross. the 10 minutes to cast Identify. Okay. On the coin. Uh, identify re reveals nothing. Gonna get, uh, I will this? also point out one detail. Identify doesn't reveal curses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did you get uh, this? Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah which Connor. means not only did... Not only can Erudite not tell, Gale, that item being in the store was probably a complete fucking accident. Yeah. Because, um... Identify doesn't reveal curses. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. I, Identify doesn't... Wait, I know I... And recount what just happened. Oh, right. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Don't <laughs> uh, worry about it. Something literally just happened. Yep. 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 <clears throat> like, it's a curse. 
I can't do anything about that. However, maybe Haru can. <laughs> She's gonna go find Haru! Actually, let me see uh, what I have prepped today. I don't have a move cursed, but if Haru have doesn't have it, cursed. I can get it ready tomorrow. I'll be right back. Healy boy! And I don't think, because yeah. I know Maddie probably doesn't have it, but Haru might, so... I have known go... spells, so I always have it. <laughs> I don't have it. Yeah. So, Haru's your best bet. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go kick Gail's ass and figure out what that was supposed to be, and if he intended to give you a curse. Before you go, you I saw all you guys super dead. <laughs> that was really fun. I just uh, gotta keep throwing the coin. Pro. Uh, Let so, me remind you of something important. Um, Ro, yeah. the coin didn't come back. Actually. Oh. <laughs> um, erudite. As you're walking down the hall. Me now. You feel the weight in your pocket. It's with me now. <sighs> Ro, she just turns around. She's just like, I have it now. Don't go to sleep. Don't stay. I I'm going to go okay. find Haru. I'm, I'm going to go, go kick Gail's ass. <laughs> Ro? Yes. Do you want to come with me or do you want to try to give yourself a minute to calm down? The mic doesn't pick <laughs> them up, but I hear them laughing. <laughs> I hear you too. I hear Jay's laughing from downstairs. This is this was again shout out to random item tables. I saw this and I went, oh no! With the description, Gail would have picked this up and been like, oh, this is really cool and weird. I'm gonna hand this off to <laughs> Ro. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stay or do you want me to go beat up Gail by myself? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Ro just lays back down and pulls the blanket up like a funeral. And just lays there like. This is fine. Mercy's gonna whistle and put Kai at the door and go, he'll make sure nothing comes. I'm not scared of anything. It was a dream, but it's a fucking weird coin. Do you want to pet the dog? It's- no. No. And then Rose's gonna reach up to the shelf above her bed and pull <laughs> Pearl. Pearl out of her little house. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> and, uh, at the same time, Mercy's gonna walk over and pick up Gun and put it beside you. All right, I'm gonna go find Gail. Hopefully, Rudy can get that crash removed. I'm good now. I don't have the clue anymore. Emotionally, not great. So, physically, fine. Uh, Haru. Yes, mm -hmm. remove crystal apps. Work. <laughs> she just goes yes. knock, knock, knock. When Haru uh. enters the door, holds out the coin. Use remove curse on it. It's cursed. One moment, then. As I'm like go back he's to bed. he Your he's going to get like first a cloth to pick up the coin in so that it's not touching it and then touch Rudy and cast remove curse. Thank you. She goes back and to bed. not touch it because there are numerous ways in which a curse can be. Sometimes it's attuning, sometimes it's touching, and. Even though he doesn't know the specifics of this, not going to take a risk. And it's the same thing he's done for all the other times we've had cursed items. Yeah. And then so. probably cast remove curse on yourself just to be safe. Just thank you. And she yeah. turns around and just goes back to bed. Uh, Mercy? Mercy's going to walk. Mercy's going to be as quiet as she can actually to do this. Self check. Of course. <laughs> Still. Um. I'm fully prepared for a stealth check on this one because I know what I'm doing is dumb. You're not wearing your plate, by the way. Oh, I keep uh, my cloak on when I sleep, though. I know, which means you have advantage. Cool, 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 cool. Um, that's a uh, 19 overall. Okay. What's Gail's passive? Uh. I don't think I make it. Oh, no. It's um, pretty high. Oh, he's sleeping, isn't it like a negative five? Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Uh where are Well, he can't be snuck up on though, now. as a barbarian. It's in the parentheses next to your I... like where it is. I think, normally. Yeah. Oh. I, th I think I think that only works when he's not incapacitated. And currently yeah. sleeping is incapacitated currently. Mm -hmm. It's considered oh. incapacitated. My bad. Yeah, in this case. Depends on the time of night, but Gail's passive is a twenty. Oh, but also... Uh, the nightmare would have happened pretty quick. So, uh, I'm gonna say, like, 
it's say one o'clock in the morning. Rana, does it work or not? Um, we'll say yes, it works. Mercy's gonna quietly walk up and see Gail. She's going to very carefully, very calmly take her prestidigitation spell and make her hands, uh, make like a pair of gloves that she has put on as cold as she can and shove it on Gail's chest. Uh-huh. Uh back, back of the neck is better. Uh, yeah, but yeah. back of the neck's harder to get on Gail. Yeah. I mean, Gail would wake up in rage and start swinging. <laughs> Mercy was prepared to be attacked when she did this, to be fair. All right. Jesus, she's gonna roll. <laughs> I love this. Oh, he'll probably hit. Mercy's not wearing her armor. Yeah. Uh, where is I think it? That makes her, like, I think that means her natural is, like, I think 12. Plus back. Well, d does Defender count armor? Or is Defender in general? I'll double check. Is it a fighting style? It's a fighting yes. style. Then it's when you're wearing armor. Then yeah, you I get only a plus have a, one. I have a base twelve. It is not gonna be hard to hit her. Yeah. 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 And nope. grabbing a duo. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> That's fine. Um, uh, and then yeah, plus two for no, no, plus three for rage because Gale is raging. Oh, 121 minus 20 minus 3. Ah, oh, that's fine. And as that happens, Mercy's gonna go, What the fuck did you do? The fuck was that for? What the fuck did you give her out? I gave her books that said the chocolates. The coin, Gail. This is the cool coin. She likes shiny things and coins. It was a curse. Really? Yes! She woke up screaming! Well, they should have told me that. And Mercy's just gonna shove her the cold hands on Gail's face this time. Ever again. <laughs> That's fine. You it can keep it. Cut it out! I will in a second. I'm mad at you. I know it wasn't intentional, but come on. How am I supposed to know that ever that whatsoever it is is cursed? Who did you get it from? I just got it from a shop. One of the ones in town. Okay. Okay. I had to make sure you weren't trying to pull a prank, to be fair. There were a bunch of old coins that were all in a little thing what some of them were real some of them weren't that was one of the biggest ones that it had something cool on it and i decided to get it for her okay i will quit touching you with the ice hands but you should probably apologize in the morning even though it wasn't intentional Roe was really freaked out she saw all of us dead in the desert well i'll go apologize now Ro is fully asleep by the time you get to her room. oh yeah no <laughs> All right, well, I'll do it in the morning. No, whatever. It was immediate. It was as soon as the coin was out of her hand, she rolled back over. It was like, "All right, so." <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be ending there for tonight, as Gail kind of peers into Rose's room and then decides against it, and walks back to uh, the garden. Ro, who is falling asleep, catches the faintest glimpse of a silhouette of a man wearing a long coat, wearing a hat, with bright red specks for the eyes. And that's where we're ending it for tonight. Thank you to all my players for being here. Thank you. Uh, I really do enjoy doing this with all you guys. Thanks to the folks who are watching in chat. Thanks to the folks who are lurking. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, pass the word around. Tell your friends. Uh, sorry that we've been having some issues with uh, uh, the streaming. Uh, we are kind of uh, going through a bit of a rough patch right now. Uh, don't worry. Chanel. We'll, 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 it'll get back to normal in time, so just be patient with us. Mm -hmm. Um, with all that said, thank you to all my players, and guys, say bye stream. Bye stream. Bye, bye stream. Bye.